Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, good night. <laughs> Welcome back to stream. I know what times of the day there are. I was like, uh, it's it's morning. What? What? I'm like, what am I saying? It's morning. It's, that's what happens for me. <laughs> Welcome to stream, whatever time it may be for you. Today, I thought I would try and switch it up just a little bit. Um, I like to play whatever I'm wanting to play, but also I. Th if I switch it up a little bit and maybe try and intersperse a little bit more variety, that would probably be beneficial. Because I did, you know, scrolling through my history so far, it's basically like there's the current Sunhaven arc, and before that, there was Cranbow Fantasy. And they're they're pretty big blocks. <laughs> so I'm trying to maybe break it up a little bit more than just like a Wednesday, Sunday, so we'll see. Although I did open the guess the game today, and I only have like 150 games left to guess because it only comes out like once a day. So I'm not actually entirely sure this is gonna you know make it for a whole stream. But I kind of thought I would try and do a more chill version of this anyway. Um, so we'll see. I'll, I'll try and take it nice and slow, and if there's extra tangents to go on, I will attempt my best to go on them. I do like that I clearly got one in one. What was this? Oh, it was a fallout. Okay. Nice. Got a, got a game in one, and then it was like, and we're done. Ooh. Um, I don't know. Is this like the Sims, the Sims? Okay, it's a Sims. Was it? Was it four? Is that the one that's suggesting? No, I did. It doesn't look quite good. Okay, <laughs> what a good start. Two? How about? How about? How about three? Well, okay, so, <laughs> uh, I was not able to determine which Sims it was, but I'm, I'm happy that I, I got, I was right, pretty much, pretty much, fucking yellow all the way, whatever, <laughs> what a good start, I've, I've played, I have played a little bit of, the Sims 2? And I've played the Sim The Sims Medieval. Um, I don't think I I don't know if I've played three. Um, okay, I mean that looks kinda like what's like the like duck hunt, but I think that was already in here. So it's probably some sort of like Mario or Kirby or something. But I mean I could just uh, let's do it again. Why not? Nope. Oh, wait, it's a map. Wait, this isn't this is an Oregon Trail, is it? Wow. Okay. There. Oh, well, I mean, suddenly put that in. I did not get that from this pick, but here with like the little wagon circle. Died of dissing Terry. Hey, there it is. Damn, that's a classic. Um, I don't know. Is this like grounded? Uh, ooh, what's um, uh, Pikmin maybe? It's a Pikmin. What about Pikmin 3? How about Pikmin 2? Did I already guess that? Wait. 
Pikmin? I guess Pikmin original. It's it's five. Okay. Or four? Sorry. <laughs> okay. 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 Whoa. Um, what sort of land before time? Crispy bacon is this? I have no clue. Um, pixelated dinosaur game. Wait, but also indoor with music thing. What? Alexandria time travel Mari what wait what is this Mario time machine I have never heard of that what an educational game developed and published by the software two works for multiple platforms Released in 1993, it combines elements from the blood of the super, super beloved Super Mario series with creative educational content. Players step into the ever-hopping shoes of Mario as he uses a time machine to recover artifacts stolen by Bowser scattered in different points in history. Entertaining blend of platforming, puzzle solving, and historical trivia. Wow. Okay. I don't know, this looks like Zelda to me. Or, or almost Monster Hunter. I don't really know what's happening in this image though. This looks like a quest marker, but there's nothing here? Maybe we'll start with a Zelda. Oh, oof. Um, she had a Twilight Princess. I don't know. It wasn't. Oh wait! And suddenly, very different picture. What is that? Looks like a very like PSP background. Um. Okay, and then I know what I talked about before. Um, PSP game about little yellow slimes. Loco Roco? Yeah, but Loco Roco was, was, was colorful, but I'm gonna try it. Nope. Okay, what the heck is that? Some sort of. It is, it is PSP. Oh my god. What is it about those backgrounds that are so PSP? Um, what's um like pawn pawn that pawn? Or just patapon? Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't played that. Heard about them. Okay. Um, I was surprised it looked so PSP and <clears throat> wow. Um, I feel like based on the the this looks like a nice cell shaded background. So I'm thinking I'm thinking you know in some ways it looks like an early 2000s game, but I think this is just a stylized and a kind of bad picture of a more modern game, really zoomed in. Um, still doesn't help me. What would we do like a Psychonauts 2? I think that might have already been put the S before. I feel like Psychonauts 2 is already on the list, but no. Yeah, look at those pots. It's pretty quality. Um, God, I don't, I mean, I got nothing. It's a, it's a squid game? Ha, <laughs> squid game. Um, their squids and their kids. It's Splatoon? 
No? Wait, that's not a Splatoon squid? Wait, that's Mario. What? Adventure turn-based RPG. Oh boy. Um, is, and also is that, is that a paper Mario? But the world doesn't look paper. Uh, <laughs> it's Mario. They, these aren't their like, little stickers. Dude, 2020. Uh, is there a paper RPG? Origami King? Okay. Thanks, thankfully, the search helped me out there. And I was like, Mario RPG, and then there was a paper one in there. Um, yeah, look at that. He's in a paper. He's a paper man in a not paper world. Kind of weird. Dude, there are so many Mario games. There's been two already today. Oh my god, is this Jack 2? Bro. Every once in a while, I'm like, man, I don't have it. I can't, like, I can't recognize games. There's a bunch of Mario's. And I'm like, what the heck? I don't, I don't got it. And then something's just, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's Jack 2. And it is. Bro, I grew up on those streets. <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't have gotten it from this picture. Um, oh, they have one of their screenshots. <laughs> wow, this wilderness pic. I think that's in the middle of the city. I don't recognize these creatures either, though. Maybe what? Do, actually, pff, there we go. This first picture is by far the best one. Dark Jack, nice. That was pretty good. Damn, it's been so long since I played one of those. Shit. Damn. That was that was those were good times. Eighty-seven percent. That's pretty good. Jack 2, baby. Oof. Those are some good games. Um. Why is this such a bad screenshot? It's actually blurry. Like, the cam... Cam um, 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 it, it has uh, eat since uh, the like what what I can't read any of this. What the hell? What kind of screenshot is this? Um, I mean, it kind of looks like maybe like Vampire the Masquerade or something. Uh, what was what lines two? I and I skipped. Pfft. That's not the enter button, you. Dipshit. I don't have a better guess than the. Um. Oh, there's some people. Is this like a like a? I would say watchdogs, but it looks kind of dark. Like literally, I must feel like I see those in the daytime. It's not El Chupacabra. Shooter open world sandbox. Okay. I don't <laughs> like a like a Saints Row. Okay. And and this pick was supposed to help with that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I got the vibe that it was some sort of open world city game, but oh no. I'm getting fighting game. I'm getting old fighting game. I don't know who this is. He looks vaguely samurai question mark. Um, I guess I'll drop a mortal combat. Um, 
it's not gone you. Um. Hmm. I don't know if I know what series this is. I don't. I don't know. Any, it could be like I don't know anything about Tekken. No, Spear of Shadow. Ooh, I don't. Oh God, what? I don't. I don't even know what. I don't know what series this is from. Oh, also, I was gonna mean to check on whether or not. Oh right, I used to have chat down here. Kind of make that a little bit bigger. And then... It's funny, because I used this scene for um, the... Genshin game um, and I sized everything down a little bit Let's see here Move you up there Like so actually we're gonna move it over Okay, um, yeah, man, I got no idea I I just don't know what series this is Dynasty Warriors, yeah, I uh, uh, wasn't gonna happen. Whoa, Pokemon looking. Oh, I don't, is it? It looks like a Pokemart. Ooh, we haven't, have we had a Pokemon game? Um, it, well, I don't, I think this is newer than that. Given the the textures on this person are pretty good. Oh, but it doesn't have that 3D look of what maybe this is just Emerald. Oh, it was, it was Ruby, but they allowed any of the series. Wow, okay. Thank you for the, the suggestion, guess the game box. Yeah, okay, I guess their pixel art was just pretty good for the time. Damn, Pokemon. It's been a while, old friend. Uh, what? It's not, it's, it's not like, there's not an Undertale scene like this, right? No, yeah. Hero. Oh, what's that, um... It looks like that game that um, the one viewer keeps telling me to play. Um, it's called like Oibo Boibo Om Oimoji Oi Um 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 Omori. Yeah. Well, it's thanks to that same viewer that they, I even know what this looks like because I looked it up. Huh. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if I have quite enough to go on here. It looks modern as in it looks like it's set in modern day rather than like fantasy or medieval there's a little bit of mist in the background this feels like either Metal Gear or Call of Duty It's, oh, no, there's, there's, there's a wolf there. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it is beautiful. 63%. It's 
not a Call of Duty. No, not that. Is it like a, is it one of the Final Fantasies? It's a PC game. Private store, buy medals. This is some sort of online game. Oh God. Okay, I have no idea what this is. What's like, um, like Terra? I don't know what it was called. And I don't, I don't mm, some sort of MMO. Yeah, MMORPG. Yep, yeah, I understand that. 2004. I have no idea. Lineage 2. Okay. Space. Um. Okay. But like. How would I know what game this is? Um, it also kind of looks just like Earth, which is weird because are there a lot of games that are just like, hmm, you're in space around Earth. Is that a, is that an exciting premise? Uh, it doesn't look like Dead Space, but I'll drop a Dead Space just in case. Huh? Wait. I don't know, those people almost look Mass Effect. I'm glad this source worked. So this is... She saw her whole unit die in Ox. She could have some serious emotional scars. Is this about... Is this like the backstory initial intro about, um, what's her face? You know, Kate Nalenko's other half. Um... I don't remember her name is like Amanda or Tracy or something. She only gets to live because I want Caden to die. Wow, okay. I mean, I totally pegged the Caden's little torso. That first screenshot, though. Admiral Hackett. Damn. Really? This? Okay. Cause it's not even like an engine <laughs> Joker. Damn. Didn't get Mass Effect off rip because they put a random cutscene screenshot. Bro. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. That's so stupid. If you'd give me a random hallway panel, I would have gotten it. Okay, whatever. Now this looks like some dead space shit. <laughs> uh, which one though? Apparently it wasn't. It wasn't. Maybe. This is about Alpha. Zero. Zero gravity. Area. Alpha? Another game that has zero gravity. And look, some sort of giant mech? I don't know, could, um, maybe it's some sort of, is this like a, an earlier armored core? Three, sure. Nope, Eva Nova. Xbox 360 and PS3? Uh, I don't know if I know what this is. 
Uh, I don't. Uh, is it some sort of Metal Gear or is that this one? I don't know. Uh, you two are the only ones I can trust with this information. Action, shooter, sci-fi, DARPA, and some sort of like mech warrior. What is this? 2010. What? What is? What? Platinum Games. Wow, this is just actual gameplay. What is this? I mean, the the movement looks kind of slick. Question mark. Upgrade. He's got, what? I. Vanquish. Never seen this before in my life. Weird. Whoa. What in the Arkham Batman? Okay, which Arkham is this? Uh, I mean, it feel like City's probably... It is popping up Asylum first, so fuck. <laughs> Is it city? Should I gone with it? Oh, uh, night? <laughs> well, okay. Sorry, I had to guess the entire Arkham trilogy to get there. Where's Batman? Where's Batman? Where's Batman? There's Batmobile. Hmm. Okay. Green and blue. Is this another Mario? Oh, where do I even start? That was completely random. That was me scrolling the list until I found a Super Mario that I didn't think was from this millennium. Batman, I caught a Pokemon Batman. What do you mean by that? Are you talking about like a zoo bat? What? Pokemon Batman. Pokemon Batman? I feel like that would either mean a Pokemon that looks like a man and a bat, which... Even like the bigger bat versions don't really look like that. But then there's also not like a little... Oh, you have a Batman. I caught a Pokemon Batman, not... You're, you're, you're telling Batman that you caught a Pokemon. That sounded like you were talking to Batman. You're like, hey, Batman, I caught a Pokemon, Batman. I got, okay. I, I okay, got, I understand now. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Are there trees in SimCity? SimCity one word? It's not... Whoa. Shiny tower. Save tower. L tower. Leave tower. Is this another, um... Roller... Coaster... Tycoon? But didn't I already have this on here? Wait. Didn't we, didn't we already do this? I would have, I would have attempted to guess that because I thought there was a, hmm, okay. Whoa. What's happening in this image? What is this ball? I feel like if I knew what this was, this would be enough information. What is that? One, 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 eight. Um, cause this feels like some sort of like arcade shooter type thing. Man, what 
is this? Burger. Oh, that's the, 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 I had in time. Girl. Wow. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually seen gameplay of this game, but. Well. Good thing I know what she looks like, I guess. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. Well, it looks like a basketball court. So. Um. Is it, what's, is it 2K? What's, what's the, is it, oh, what's the basketball game? Is it NBA 2K? What's the, I thought the people just called it 2K or whatever. I don't, what, I don't remember what the, the game's called. Um, the one basketball game they release every year. NBA 2K. What did what? Hell, is that not what I typed? Oh, sorry. There was a space. Um. So I mean, I don't. Uh, seven. It wasn't. This is some other basketball game. Um. But basketball. Basketball. Just a. No, wasn't that basketball. Ball 2007 Sports Um Basketball Super Street Basketball 2 Nope Um I don't know what is it called like Dunk Super Dunk Star Nope I I uh, Ultimate basketball. That's a game. Oh, it was NBA Street. Ugh, my bad. Whoa. There's a desert and there's a door in the desert. Um. I'm getting nothing from this picture. Plunger. <laughs> what? Is this some sort of Luigi Mansion thing? <laughs> okay. What's going on with the what's going on with the, the, the desert temple here then? Okay. Oh, Xeon. Oh, yeah. We could switch. We could switch it up. Ooh. Floating a little bit. Welcome to the couch. This looks some sort of like. Is this a racing game? Or no, that's someone's shooting. Is this like, is this Tomb Raider Carnivals? No. Oh, it's Lego Star Wars? Uh, uh oh. Oh, is it? Is it Star Wars 2, the original trilogy? Fuck! <laughs> okay. Uh, I, uh, how was I supposed to know? The, the, they kept re-releasing the first games. If I had gotten, done the whole thing, would it have counted? Probably not. Damn. It's funny, seeing screenshots like this, I remembered the game looking a lot better than it did. Like, oh my god, that looks pretty crunchy. Damn. Great game. Wow. 
That's one of the first Lego games I feel like we've seen on here. Um, fuck if I know. It looks like some sort of racing game. Uh, what? Duck. I'm gonna put it on DS. Whoa. Stop showing me these crusty old games. What is. Oh, this is something on DS. Action rhythm. I have no clue what this is. A bomb. Where are you at? I don't know. I don't know. I've, 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 I don't know. Uh, is this one word? Did I spell that wrong? Oh. Oh, no. There's a bunch of them. Uh, I guess we'll go smooth moves because it's rhythm. It was WarioWare touched. I have never heard of WarioWare before. WarioWare touch released in 2004. A unique fast paced mini game collection developed by Nintendo, Nintendo DS. Wow, Nintendo does some. Did we already had uh, Borderlands, right? Oh, is this the third one? I should have known. Uh, okay. I should have been able to deduce that this was the third one, but like, they all look the same. <laughs> they all have the exact same art style, which is good for art cohesion. But when you're trying to guess the specific one, it makes it really hard to do based on this image. Yeah, whatever. I don't know, Last of Us. Um, The Last of Us. Which one? Uh, Part two? It wasn't The Last of Us. Fulton's. This isn't The Last of Us. Well, shit. Uh oh. <gasps> Wait. What? I mean, suddenly this is looking. This image looks like remnant. Press A to dodge incoming attacks, though? These trees are. There are trees in Remnant. This looks like Remnant 2. Um... You're telling me that they pulled two screenshots from the first 20 minutes of the game that you only play once and put it in this? Okay, so this pisses me off a little bit because so you can you can see that from these screenshots from that someone played 40 minutes max of this game took screenshot from the first minute took screenshot two from the second minute screenshot three from minute 15 maybe then they took a screenshot of minute 20 after they beat the tutorial boss that you don't even need to fight you can skip the tutorial and then they took a screenshot of the first person you meet in town. So like minute 25, 30, maybe. And that's that's the puzzle. The, uh, I don't think a lot of effort went into this one. 
I think, right, you could have given me any screenshot of any of the actual game that people would be playing more than one or a couple seconds of. Okay, yeah, it's whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know, is this like the forest? But is it the first one or is it like Sons of the Forest? It does look newer, so we'll go with Sons of the Forest. Fuck, it was the original. I haven't played either of those. Foresty. Ah. I guess I can, you can see the plane in the picture. I don't know if the second one also has the plane crash thing. Right, this game, they put the plane in it, right? Like, it, it's... Uh, mm. We played the first forest recently. Damn. Whoa. Hmm. Um. I feel like that star is probably supposed to mean something to me. Um. And now I'm like, mm, there's like a metal involved in there. I don't know. <clears throat> oh? No, it's some sort of tactical? 93%. Because there's a little like pip, so it's like you're sending someone somewhere? Um. Tank. It's a PC game. Hey, look at these little, these little dudes. But this isn't like a. It's not a Command and Conquer. What the fuck? What is this? Company of Heroes. Wow, it almost looks like World War II um, Total War. Wow. I've, n I've never seen that before. That's That was interesting. Oh, boy. Um. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, what is this? Okay. There's definitely an, a natural element here. I feel like I get the vibe that it's like one of those like 2D, 3D games where it's like, you know, platform side scroll, but it has like visual depth. Um, could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, ugh. I don't have any immediate guesses. Um, I don't know, maybe go with like... This doesn't help. It's some sort of like raccoon fish, perhaps? Or just a catfish? I don't know, 91%! They chasing these balls? <clears throat> what? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Is this like one of those? This isn't a little big planet, right? Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, hey, it's that like bed thing from the first image. Well, uh, uh sure. I, I guess. Uh, okay. What kind of crunchy ass racing game is this? Oh. Um. I don't know any racing game from 2000. Oh, 
god, what do I even go with first? The first Forza? That doesn't... Forza Motorsport? The first one? Nope. Okay. 96% Metacritic score. What? Okay. Um... What's like a oh, Gran Turismo? Did I spell it that bad? Wait, what? Oh, I put it, put an O in it. Huh. It was the first one. Yeah, I was, I was looking, I was guessing the, the originals of series because this thing looks ancient. Okay. Hmm. All right then. Well, at least I got it. Um. <laughs> I think it's something to do with snow. At some point, snowy mountains are involved with whatever this is. Hard thing is. I can't tell if this is like a cutscene. Is this something in the? Is this a background? It doesn't look like a. a it doesn't look like the background of a game. This looks like a still from a cutscene. <laughs> Bruh, I don't know. I'm like, it's like a cutscene from Diablo Two or something. What is the what? Bruh. There's a lamp. Okay, so we've moved to modern question mark. What the, f what the fuck is this? What is this? Is this a like a? Is this a torture device? A table? What? In the snow. I don't, uh, is this sort of like Bond game? I don't, uh, no, it's a, it's a skiing game. There's a style bonus. Then what is this picture? What the? F um, late flip. Uh. Oh. Mm, GameCube. Interesting. Um, what kind of series are there? Well, oh, there's like what's like um. The one snowboard guy. Um, there's that Wii game. Let's just type in snowboard and see what happens. Wii ski and snowboard. Snowboard racer 2. Snowboard heaven. S MTV sports snowboarding. Snowboarding. I feel like this looks like a... This looks like it might just be a ski though. So I don't want to be just snowboarding. Oh, the Sean White. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I'll guess that just in case. Well, they are. These people are on snowboards. Genre: snowboarding and racing. Okay, apparently it's onto something. Snowboard racer two. No. Fat Air Extreme Snowboarding? Nope. SSX3. I'll just have to trust you on that one. <laughs> um... I don't know, like Wii Tennis? Is that just Wii Sports? It it's probably tennis. Tennis 2K2, sure. The franchise Virtua Tennis. Uh. Tennis 2K. Or just vir Virtua Tennis. Well, uh, thank you for that little yellow thing. That. Uh, 
Never would have gotten them. This is it's just a tennis game. Well, I Okay. <laughs> okay. Um Are they running over a robot? What is this? <laughs> what? What is that? It looks like someone's running over a mech in their Toyota hatchback. <laughs> what? Um. I also don't know what's going on in the background. It looks like the sky is breaking. The shards. Uh. I don't know. Maybe we just drop like a Metal Gear. Seventy-seven percent on Metacritic. There's some sort of some sort of dude here. Some sort of gas mask man. I don't know. Dude, what is this like? A is this like Quantum Quantum Break or something? Uh. That was purely based on like the visual fracturing in the background. I have, n huh? How about them apples? Uh, sure, I don't know anything about that game. Whoa, uh oh. What are those? What are those? This looks really familiar. Shit. The only thing that doesn't look... Nor what are these little blue orbs? Oh, what is this? Uh... Mm. Hmm. guess something like because the hard thing is this does look very like divinity original sin 2 but i think that's already been on the list final fantasy hmm he doesn't look like that to me but i haven't played any final fantasy games so that uh makes it hard for me to think that Final fan tasty. Well, it looked right. It looked at, right at a glance. Mm. Those little blue orbs throwing me off. I guess yeah, maybe the M the MMO might look like that. Hmm. It does have an MMO vibe. It's like, uh, what is that like XIV? No. This does look like um. Is it just like the original sin? No. What the heck? Wait. Hang on a second. This isn't like art, is it? 
Lost heart. Oh, fuck. why it looked familiar i i put my i put i put my i put my time into lost ark what where, where let's see how many um how many hours i have in lost ark 322 pretty good it's pretty good damn damn okay um, okay, just some nice, some nice bricks, some nice bricks. You couldn't, couldn't have given me one of these picks for like Mass Effect, no? Um, I don't know, can't see these bricks look very familiar to me. I'm not gonna say I haven't played this game purely based on a picture of bricks, but... Kind of feels like maybe I haven't. I don't. I don't even have like a genre from this. Now what? Now what in the heck? What? Huh? What? What? Uh, what is this? Also. Was this like house flipper? Oh. Ooh. What? I think I, I think I technically played that. Do what I do. Okay, ancient FPS. Um, I don't know. We quake. I don't know. No. Um. Well, oh, hit like a. Oops. This is like Half Life. Okay. Yeah, this still doesn't look like anything to me. To that little dude's funny helmet. Oh, yeah, there we go. I've never played Half Life or Half Life 2. Okay, good thing so. Office building. Office building, but things are ready to see. It almost looks like Stanley Parable, but I don't feel like I recognize this room. No, because of the memes. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Let's just drop it. I'm pretty sure Stanley Parable's already been in here, but. Might as well. Ooh. Yep, suddenly very different. Electronics in a police car. I don't know. Do we hit like a watchdogs? Nope. Um. Call of Duty? I don't know. It doesn't look like Call of Duty, but... Focus. Armor. Um... I would say, like, um, Deus Ex, but it doesn't look futuristic enough. PS5? So this is recent. Slow motion skill duration. What?
What? This is a PS5 game? Robocop Rogue City. Uh, what? Robocop Rogue City. 2023 first person shooter game. 9 out of 10 stars? Wait, I'm. 79%. What? I've, oh, I've never heard of that. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> those are some. Those are some pretty good clouds. It's not quite enough for me to go on but those are pretty good do I have a guess though um, maybe it's drop like an evil land not on here cool uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just skip then. Oh boy. Suddenly a lot more ancient. I don't know. We just some sort of Sonic. It's a little, little, little ghosty bat dudes. Oh, Whoa. Um. So, frog lady. It's a little dude. Was it something fishing? Susan, what the? F I have no clue what this is. Cave story. Sure. Sure thing. I. Whoa. It looks like something. Um. I don't know. Metal Gear. Three. Nope. Uh, lockers. 64%. Bro. What is this then? So it's a, it's a bad game. No, it's a mediocre game. Someone's leg. PS2. Looks like some sort of like doom thing. Nope, there's a third person shooter. Oh. I don't, I have no idea what this is. Oh, this is like a Duke Nukem? That, that's what that he looks like, right? Duke Nukem. Advance? Sure. There's X Squad. I, brother, never even crossed any of my synapses. Whoa! What is happening here? I mean, this looks cool. What is this? There's like a, a big winged thing and like a laser and some shit over here. What? What? What is this? I mean, I don't know. It almost looks like Pieta from Lords of the Fallen, but I don't think it is, especially because I don't recognize this effect. That effect looks almost like, like a Demon Souls remake thing, but maybe I'll just go with Lords of the Fallen just as 
see. I feel like this would be kind of recent for that, wouldn't it? Okay. I guess it was. Minikirk 75%? What is oh, this? What is that picture? There's Pieta again. Wait, when was this from? Huh, well, I guess I got it. Um... I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't have any guesses for that. Whoa, what in the hell? Look at that little anime girl and this rock. Uh, this, this seems like people would recognize it off of this picture. Uh, oh, I don't, oh, is this some sort of, um, what's that? What's it? What's like fire emblem heroes? You know, I think I did play this for like a day. Yeah, it's the mobile game, I'm pretty sure. Huh. Okay. On two. That's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, look at this little, uh, this little place. This little, uh, little, little, little dude. It looks like the observatory that the, um, the guys from Australia throw stuff off of what's their channel? Um they used to do the trick shots and then kinda ended up just like dropping stuff off of this thing a bunch. Um God, I haven't watched their stuff in a long time. Uh was that in high school. So we're gonna say Oh, Fire Emblem? Yeah. I have a friend I think who Plays it. I mean, they haven't talked about it in a while. Um, I don't know. Do drop like a just cause four? It's not just cause. There's driving in this game, but or I don't, are they holding something? Oh, it's a hunting game. Hunter. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. How ridiculous. Yeah, that sounds right. Whoa. Well, this is interesting. This looks really familiar. Mario Wonder? Oh, uh, Mario, is that a, is that a thing? Mario Wonder? Oh, I saw that right. Oh, I mean, this is, this is a game? wonder oh, I guess it is just the kind of Nintendo style wonder it's it that's the title of the game you're playing yesterday recent 2023 what you know I don't know a lot about old stuff but I feel like it's a, I feel like I hear about new games it, by Nintendo reason whatever the game contains the Goldie's beloved Super Mario franchise testing players once again the vibrant mushroom kingdom is Mario and Luigi in a quest to rescue Prince Peach from the Jeez Bowser. Wonder because it's running jumping. I what? Wow, okay. Uh nice. I Damn, they just Nintendo makes a lot of games, huh? Good lord. Such a 
cool evolution they use on my bro platform. Is it? I don't know. Based on based on the images I was seeing there, it doesn't look any different. But that being said, those were just random screenshots, and I am not familiar with Mario to begin with. So. <laughs> I have no clue what this is. This could be anything. This second image was not helpful. Man, what? What are you what are you doing here? What, 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 the, you're gonna, the, the, hmm, okay. Okay, sad Nua, got it. So, <laughs> well, clearly someone thought these meant something. I, guess, I mean, I haven't played the game, so I guess maybe, it, you know. Maybe I'm supposed to know. It was just like four incomprehensible screenshots. And then just the main character. Cool. Haven. Um... And it looks to be like a, a car. This could be some sort of. It looks like a church, maybe. Is this like a. What's a Darksiders, maybe? Like the new one, three? No. A big big spear thing I'm gonna be like a years of war uh, three he has three um no suddenly I have no idea insomniac I don't know what this is. Resistance 3. Okay. Um... I don't know if I'm supposed to be getting something from this or not. It's like a laser. Yeah. Also, this um this zoom mechanic is um sort of not very helpful. Cause it's like not really in the right place. doesn't seem new to me. I don't know. I guess it could be newer. <laughs> well, now suddenly seeming old is checking out. God, I mean, if this looks like some sort of Metroid. I don't know. I don't. I don't know anything about that. Uh, the spaceship. Their spaceship. I think. I think that's a spaceship. Mm, what's like the what's Fox? I don't. I don't know anything about Star Fox. It's not that. Uh, it's from PC. 
Oh. It's an RTS. Look at these little guys. What? definitely not getting those don't look destructible like it doesn't look like you could clear those like it's not like a harvesting game um but it doesn't they don't look detailed enough that you're like supposed to be looking at them i don't this feels like it's like in a cut scene like you're just kind of looking at them oh no maybe look like city skylines right it's it's the sequel no way no way what are, are you running it on a toaster there's no way city skylines 2 looks like this you're running it on your microwave You're, there are three hamsters pr powering the processor for the computer used to take these screenshots. This looks worse than City Skylines 1. No, no way. No way. Wait. Uh, I mean, if I guess if you get close enough, it kind of looks like this, but I, that's really zoomed in. Like... Like, this is what I was expecting. Like, look at that. Look at these. It's like they are they had the shader engine off, or lighting was turned to zero. Like, look at that. Look at that. Oh, some angles you look at it and it looks weird. What? Hmm. Oh, is this just something to do with the in-game camera and photo mode? Makes it look weird? Uh, okay, anyway. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, I don't know. This kind of looks like what's like what's like the what's like bone works. Yeah, playing on your smart fridge. Exactly. Okay, I've never played this. I guess it has a good visual vibe. Uh, <laughs> Bone works, boy. I sure hope it does. VR. I wish I liked VR. I like the idea of it. it just doesn't work for me. Uh, um. Wow, look at this screenshot. I feel like we've got another culprit of like intro cutscene. You're in some sort of flying thing, flying through the city. What makes you want to try VR? I, I, uh, I see the, the hard thing is it's like, I see stuff in VR that looks cool and I know that no matter how cool it is, it probably won't feel good for me. Are they firing a missile right here? Wait, 
What the? F He's got like a sword. Is he on a motorcycle? What the fuck? Wait, hang on. Whoa. Oh. Um, he's got, he's got a bunch of swords? What is this? Ninja Blade. Yo, this looks sick as fuck. From software. What? Two thousand nine. Excuse me. Wh what? I've never heard of this. What? Wait, is can I play this? Is this an iron pineapple video? Or who is this? I don't know. From FromSoft's worst game. It's just Solaire. Never mind. I see that. Or is that? Hey, can you get my no, it is iron pineapple. FromSoft's worst game, Ninja Blade. How did I not? How was I not recommended this video? Four Demon Souls game is a mess, huh? I don't know. Wait, is it on Steam? Wait, oh uh, wait. It's on Steam. no longer available damn I was like I'd play this damn I'll have to like find a physical copy or something unclassified carnivorous species occupying a village in northern Africa what the hell damn I don't know. It looks sick as hell. I've, how have I never heard of that? Wild. Okay. Um, are those, I think those are little trees. The, the, the number of pixels on this screen I could count. This is, I think this is both a, a, a lower res game, but also someone has zoomed in this screenshot way too much. You see, oh, what's um, what's like, it's like Streets of Rage or something. No. Game Boy Advance. That checks out. Is this a fighting game? Or no, this is, oh, it's like those little dudes that go and fight. I, would um, yeah, this one. I have heard of this. I've never played it. Um... Uh, it's, is it called like tactics or something? Game Boy Advance tactics? Wait. Is it, is that just, is that what it's called? No. It's not. Um. Is it that one? Lord of the Rings is there. What the fuck? What? Advance Wars? Maybe? Hmm. Mm, yeah. That name doesn't sound nearly as familiar as I thought it would. Because I feel like I'd seen stuff about this. Maybe it was like a sequel or something. Hmm. Halo 3? Yes! 
Yes, I needed this confidence boost right about now. Let's fucking go, dude. Yes. Oh my god. I still got it. I still got it. Ah. <laughs> See? You give me the ground texture and a little bit of like foliage and a building in the background of my game, I know, and I can get it. <laughs> Ooh. Um, that picture's not nearly as helpful. Remake or something on Switch. Oh, unfortunate thing. That's very vague. There's a needler. I think that's one of the custom maps. Dang it, this, this picture is crazy bad. That would have been very unhelpful. That's a good good first picture though. Halo 3, great game, great game. What in the heck? What in the heck is the this? This is not an anything. This is nothing. I mean, you can tell it's like a game set in a city. Recent world events being the thing. How recent are we talking? I feel like I don't you say recent world events and to me I'm like my first thing I think is COVID. But that was like four years ago and so I don't know whether or not that's recent. <clears throat> Um, uh, watch dogs. Who? Yakuza. It's a Yakuza. Oh God! Which which one? Uh, this one. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. At least they put the Yakuza guy in the picture early on. Look at the babies. Damn. Let's go. Ooh. It's like the first fighting game of anything. We're getting who is, but it's the the wars going on overseas. That was inappropriate to release game. Oh. Okay. Probably like it could be like Ukraine or. If it's more recent, you know, okay, that makes sense. They're like releasing a game about war. Okay, I see. Still some sort of fighting game. I don't know. We do. We go Tekken here. Oh wow. Uh, never mind. Sorry, my bad. What the fuck? Who is this gorgeous man? Um, I could go with Dead or Alive, even though I don't think he's in that. It was. It was. I don't know who this is. <laughs> well, I was just going through fighting games. <laughs> All right, then. <clears throat> um, hmm. K.O.F. Uh, King of Fighting. I don't know if I know what that stands for. Um, this looks like some sort of like old castle structure with modern lighting on it. So is this some sort of like World War II thing? Maybe? I don't know. Also, oh, is that like a flag in the in the distance? Was this like a red flag? Red flag. Close King of Fighters. Wow, I've never heard of that. Um, what is this? What's like, uh, what's like Battlefield Zero or whatever? Um, or Battlefield One? Whoa! Suddenly, like, Coliseum? What the hell is this? P 
PS3, Xbox 360. So there's some sort of... Assassin's Creed? What? What? Is it like Brotherhood? Oh, I never played Brotherhood. Um, I, huh, uh, okay. <laughs> I have no clue what this is. Oh. Okay. But like, this- why, <laughs> what? Why is this image so low quality? There's no way. 59% Metacritic. Oh. That's crazy. I thought- I thought that was good. Oh, little dude. Little dude. Why are these screenshots so low quality? There we go. That's the right size. Look at that. See, like, right, they they went and found a video that was, like, the, the right size for the screen. Like, see, like, the character is normally, like, that size. That's the thing that's interesting, where I'm like, they zoom in on a lot of weird small things to be hard to guess. But like, that's the size of the character is normally, but yet it has like four pixels on screen. <laughs> yeah, um. Getting very very 2d side scroll platformer-esque thing um i don't recognize this style though i still don't i have platform is mobile it's a mobile game what rhythm game Muse that is this a, is this a thing? Of I oh wow I've never heard of this. Is it good? Seventy three percent. Oh, look at that. Huh. Oh, but like, do you have to pay for it? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, I've, I've never paid for a mobile game in my life. Oh, oh, okay. That, that explains why I've never, it's never come across my dashboard. Music collapse, 2000 Steam and free on mobile. It's, f oh, wait, what? What the, the Microsoft Store? Wait, free on mobile? App Store? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know, the Muse Dash on my phone is three bucks. In the in the in the Google Play Store. Mm. This looks kind of familiar, but I feel like didn't we already have um um? It almost looks like like Code Vein, but I think that was already on the list. Yeah. Oh my God. 
I think this is planet side too. Is is it's got to be right? Holy shit! Wow. We didn't already have that on the list. Oh my god. Wow. Huh. How about that? Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Resident Evil Village. <laughs> nice. Never played it. Did see some videos about it when it came out, though. Uh, oof. I mean, this could be, this could be an Uncharted. This could be a Tomb Raider. This could be something else. Some sort of Sky Oblivion. Um, it's like a torch and some ruins. Uh, I don't know. Let's go with. No, I don't. It, it has more. Um. What's it? What's it called? It's got more like atmospheric noise than I would associate with. Um. the Drake games Uncharted so maybe I'll go with a Tomb Raider uh, but hmm nope wait what what is this this doesn't this looks like a painting I also don't recognize the the style of this architecture? What? GameCube, PS2, PC, Xbox, and mobile. What is this? Who are you? Prince of Persia? What in the fuck? Is that Farah? Can't be. What in the hell? What? Uh, um. Oh, oh boy. Um, it's not the time. Um. Is that Warrior Within? Wow. I've this guy does not look familiar, and neither do these pictures. What? If if they hadn't included this image, I mean maybe I would have got it from something like that, but like Damn. That came out of nowhere. Uh, Dark Underworld, the prince protagonist from the previous game. How do I supernatural creature do his actions in altering time? Yeah. The time control. Oh, Dungeon Keeper. Took me a second to figure out what was going on in... Um... In this screenshot, I'm like, what the heck? But it's, it's like you're, I, this is, you know, looking down RTS style and you're digging out the rocks. I was like, oh, that's what's happening with this golden highlighting. Yeah, okay. Uh, I know, I know my dungeon keeper. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Um, is this in a language? <laughs> I don't think that's a I don't think that's an an earth language that we have here on our planet currently. I could be wrong, but I don't think that uh I've seen that before. Um So what kind of game is something that looks like that and is like not I don't know, this doesn't look familiar at all. I could just drop like, maybe it's like the new Ratchet and Clank. It's like the fractured reality or whatever. Um, Rift Apart. Nope. Whoa, what the, f what is this? I say that a lot, but what the heck? What's going on? What's going on here? What? Who are you? Is this what? What? Is, who, what? Who? Who? <laughs> She's standing on the wall. Japan Studio. Yo, is she really jumping? Gravity Rush. Oh. Sure. Gravity Rush, Gravity Rush 2. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, this was the second one, apparently. Game is so amazing. Huh. Gravity Rush 2 is an action adventure game developed by Project Siren and published by Sony Interactive. For PlayStation 4, picking up where its predecessor left off, this 2017 release thrust players back into the enchanting, gravity defying life of Cat, a woman who wields the power to manipulate gravity. Floating city of Hexville. Unique physics based mechanics allow players to pull the. Also, the pull of gravity at will. Huh. Interesting. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like there's something going on at the bottom of the screen that might be more modern, but I'm going to go with like something old. Uh -oh. Now suddenly we've just got like a not no score yet. Oh wait, hang on. That's Lethal Company, isn't it? Oh um, maybe I, I haven't played it. I don't I think I understand what this image It's clearly a light on the ceiling, but it looks like it's from like a game from 1990 <laughs> whereas these ones i'm seeing it now hmm okay lethal company we're getting pretty modern here uh i don't know what's that what's like outlast or whatever i should have gone with the first one it just looks like that the title image is kind of just like kind of green. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I just know the game looks just like green because you're using the camera or whatever. Okay. <sighs> I think we're either looking at space or sparks flying. Either way, I have no idea. Mm. 
Oh, we could drop another we could drop another Lego Lego Star Wars. Snowstorm warning. God damn. Whoa. What is this? It's not like, was this like Starfield? Yo! This picture? What? It's, it's a field of stars. I don't, they don't, um, I haven't really even seen very much about Starfield other than people didn't like it. And, I, um, but I watched the original trailers and like, I think this was like, this was the meeting area for like whatever the explorers guild was that you're part of and I was like wow that looks boring <laughs> uh, looks like some sort of 2d point-and-click adventure I don't have any guesses. I still don't have any guesses. Well, or what would drop a drop a banner lord or whatever. Banner saga. So I feel so hyped up that it was like the most boring thing ever. Um, I don't know. I didn't think it was hyped up at all. Well, I mean, I feel like so people got hyped when stuff came out and I was like, I don't see it. But then I was like, I don't know, this this genre just seems boring. I'm like, why would you make a space game and there's like no aliens? I'm like, you're making a boring Mass Effect game, is what it sounds like. I don't know, I saw people, the people, the stuff come out, people like, oh my god, it's gonna be great. And I'm like, I don't know, this looks boring. And it came out and it was boring, and I was like, well, uh, I don't know why you guys didn't see this coming. <laughs> it looked boring. I don't know. I saw the trailers and I was like, wow, they made a trailer that like wasn't very exciting. <laughs> I don't know, it was weird. Like, I don't know. I've been hyped by other Bethesda things coming out before and then it was like, huh? Mods would help it, like people to Skyrim. Well, I've actually heard that the game is so bad that the modding community has already given up because it's just a broken mess internally. That's what I heard. That m the people, you know, were trying to mod and do fixes and add things and then it was just like, no, no, it's not savable is what is what I heard. No. I have no idea what this is. Valiant Hearts, the Great War. And I feel like, cause it's like, I also, I um, kept getting recommended. It was like, it's like Starfield Rotten Core. There's like this YouTube video. Yeah, the modders say Starfield can't be fixed. Yes, this one. It's this, this, it's this thumbnail that says Rotten Core that's behind my head. It says, you know, Starfield can't be fixed. Rotten Core, where they're like... <laughs> they're like, Modder's like, no. Mm -mm. We're done. Very neon. I think... I think I might know what this is. I watched, um, or I saw a video. It was like, so is this the, like the survival game where you could build an army of cats or whatever? Um, uh, sir, I, uh, post apocalypse. Um, game. 
where you can have an army of cats. That's stray. That's stray. That's stray. That's stray. Well, this search did not work. Wait, no, maybe I have no idea what this is. I don't know. No, I think this is that game. I don't remember what it's called. Wasteland 3. Wait, let me see. Wasteland 3 Army of Pets. Yeah! Maybe it was this, my Wasteland 3 cat army went horribly wrong. It's the Animal Whisperer. Okay, I so I knew what game it was on picture two. I was never gonna come up with that name though. Um, is this another fighting game? I don't recognize these feet. Um... Tekken. <laughs> well, process of elimination. We're running out of ancient fighting games for it to be. I will just have have you know that was based off of just purely previous guesses and nothing more. I don't know. Is this like? Sim City. Okay, it's in the franchise. Uh, <laughs> whatever is it? Is this creator or whatever? No. Okay. City two thousand. Okay. Uh, I'm happy with getting the franchise. What is this? A blurry image and something that says oh oh you can see a little bit beyond you press the left stick to remove the waypoint uh, anyone happen to know a game where you press the left stick to remove a waypoint and maybe also driving In, in some sort of desert landscape question mark I see a guardrail I don't know this is like GTA I, I have no idea it's a game where you can put waypoints down which means there must be a map you can open um left stick stick clicking to me often feels more like a playstation thing to do that might be a weird assumption um not that, that probably matters this looks this looks more modern so it'll probably be on all the consoles anyway uh I don't know, maybe it's just... I think GTA has already been on here, but... Mammoth Main Lodge. What? Oh, that? That's... The... the <laughs> what? PC, PS4, Xbox One, Stadia, PS5, Xbox Series. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. Is that pizza delivery? Riders Republic. Huh. Okay. Oh, was it like pizza tower? Huh. 
Okay. Hell yeah. Finally, a recognizable art style. Am I right? Did I get a Metacritic? 89%. Nice. Never played Pizza Tower. I saw that Donkey video, though. Uh... What in the heck is this? I don't know what's like, uh... Fear and Hunger, maybe? Nope. Too old. Yeah, I have no clue what this is. Uh, SNES. Uh, some RPG, probably. It was Final Fantasy VI, apparently. Well, I mean, I probably could have gotten the franchise eventually if I had thrown some guesses out there. Um, I don't know. Is this, is this Pokemon? No. Now suddenly looking more like Fall Guys. <laughs> Even though I think that was already on this list. Oh, and I guess now we're back to Nintendo? Yeah, I'm like... What's that? What's that? Toad... Treasure... Yeah, this treasure thing? Okay, yeah, I remember seeing a video about someone who was gonna play the Toad game where it's like you you move like this like cube around. It's like a little puzzle game, yeah. I I, I still have no clue what this is. Oh, I see. Wait. Woof. Woof. Please don't be burnt. I like that you can you can see off the sides of the image. Woof. Please don't be burnt. Um, this doesn't help me. Look away? What the fuck? Meow? What is this? I... So, I use it carefully. Space for the Unbound. I... Uh, 2023. Huh. Spaceship. We do a Star Fox. I don't know. Well, I'm out of guesses. What is... The, I don't know what this image is. It's a racing game. PS1 racing? <laughs> These images are useless. Wipeout 3. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. This is more visually interesting than a lot of the other screenshots today. I mean, that's not true, but like recently, 
I don't know if I know what this is that uh, well <laughs> pacifier question mark what dog what is, what is this a dude with a sword what hang on now wait what okay I thought adventure game and then I saw this and I was like oh some sort of weird like point and click detective thing and then there was a dog and I was like huh and then there's just this guy or is this some sort of fable oh it must be like fable huh it's one of them maybe it's, is it the first one Oh, maybe the third one? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Now, now the, uh, now the eclectic group of screenshots make sense. I see. Um... I'm not getting anything special from this. Just some windmills. No windmills. <laughs> Wind turbines. Turbines. It's a nice grassy field you got there. Oh, your grass died. That's unfortunate. Oh, but you're having a party anyway. Anyway, that's nice. Continuing to party. That's cool. Well, I guess this is a game where you play as a swarm of colorful petals. Um, that doesn't help me know what this is, though. Oh, flower. His, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. Whoa, look at those planets back there. And a tree. Um, what's that? What's that game called? Like Starbound or something? Yo. <laughs> uh, I made that ge guess based on that. I know that there's a game that people like called Starbound, and this seemed like it was space related, and pixel graphics. But I know that that one's also pixel graphics. Pixel, pixel graphics and I hadn't seen it on the list yet. I don't know what kind of game it is Death from above But oh like little uh, terraria thing, I don't know Whoa Hmm Maybe this is an uncharted. I can't tell if this is 3d or 2d or not. Okay, it is an Uncharted. Yay! That's a skeleton with a gun. <laughs> okay. Dang, I don't know. I've, I haven't played any of the games. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Win the game. I guess you were the flowers. I don't know if you're the, or are you the wind moving flowers or not? I don't know. Um, what's, uh, what's, what's going on here? Is this a stage? It's like a rock band two, three. Nope. A star. Super Mario Apocalypse. <laughs> um, Donkey Kong. Uh, 
I see, I, see, <laughs> I see Kirby with his sword. Um, Kirby Battle Royale? Sure. It's Kirby. This Nintendo makes so many games. Um, Kirby's Dream Land 2? No. Um, Lost World? Forgotten Land? Oh, yeah, Lost World. Forgotten Land. That's pretty similar. Good lord, Nintendo. They make so many games games oh my god half the games on this guess the game list have been nintendo damn it i wouldn't have gotten it without the those uh you know synonyms for sure um this doesn't look like very much but like maybe it's like gears of war 2 nope okay I mean, just like literally just as a whole, half the games on this entire list have just been Nintendo. I don't know. I do feel like a lot of people seem to like their Nintendo stuff. Um, Some sort of shooter explosion game. I don't know, drop, a, drop a Call of Duty just to see. No. PS3. Is it just the PS3? It's kind of weird. Do we drop a. What's a Metro? Nope. Um. That's a, that's a man. Um. Like Nintendo being a very casual player. I don't know if casual has anything to do with it. I mean, I. I, I, I Killzone 3, sure. I don't know. The Nintendo stuff I hasn't just it's never seemed very interesting to me. But I do think part of it is that like um I do think though it's like the Nintendo fans are pretty pretty intense and like you because like you come across people who like Mario and they're like I love Mario I love you know I love Kirby I love this stuff and I'm like whoa you're pretty you're pretty intense there and so it makes me be like well you know it is sort of like the kind of hipster mentality where I'm like Ooh, what where like you know super popular stuff with like Attack on Titan they're like oh my god it's the best show ever and then I watch I'm like well it's not <laughs> or and it's like oh my god Mario games are the best and then it's just like a platformer and I'm like oh okay and you're like I love these characters I'm like okay <laughs> and they've got a backpack with 300 Kirby pins on it and the game is like good but it's I'm like I don't know it's it's, it's a lot I don't know what this is <gasps> Tomb Raider. Didn't we already have like the first one? If I spelled it right, maybe. Tomb Raider 2. Tomb Raider 2. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Fun with friends and stuff too. Oh. We're talking like like Mario Party stuff. Cuz I feel like a lot of the a lot of their like mainline games are single player, right? Like mm -mm -mm. there's a party and what Mario Kart. Yeah, people have always been into Mario Kart, huh? 
PS2. I've, uh, is this some sort of GTA grand, but just for the PlayStation 2? It was, okay. How about that? Ah, shit. Here we go again. Oh, damn. I knew that was GTA. I didn't know which one it was. Huh. There's some kind of local cop. Huh. I see. What are the? Oh, wait—is this like what's a ghosts and ghosts, ghouls and ghosts? Nope. Never mind. I have no idea. Golden axe. Uh... <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. Okay, now we're talking. Golden Axe is one of the games getting a remake with Jet Set Radio. Um, is Jet Set Radio a game, or is that like the studio that's doing the remake? I don't. I don't think I know what that means. Oh, this looks so familiar. What game is this? I feel like I'm gonna get this wrong and then I'm gonna throw a shit. Throw a, it's a game. Jets have radio is a game. Okay. Oh. Huh. Interesting. This could be a couple different RTSs. Let's go with Command and Conquer. Um, I think this is is Tiberium War. Three Tiberium Wars. Oh no, it's a medieval one. Although, oh wait, this is. This looks more pre-made than an RTS. We've still got really low down pictures though, which is odd. Is this like a, is this like Warcraft? Oh, wait, maybe I don't know this one. This doesn't look familiar to me at all. Hmm. Could be like a settlers. Whoa. Suddenly, what is this? It's an anno? What is this? 2005. British artillery foundry. Uh, I don't know this one. Age of Empires three. Oh, it was in Age of Empires. 
Age of Wars 3? Okay, I didn't know this one. Okay, well, I don't feel bad about that. It was an RTS. I did pick that from the grass. Is... This kind of looks like Mass Effect 2. See, that's what I'm talking about. Should have given me one of these from Mass Effect 1. This is like... This is like one of the first missions that you encounter the, the Collector. I'm assuming direct control. <laughs> Damn, Mass Effect 2. Good game. We had two Mass Effects today. <laughs> That's a little weird. We have done like a hundred games though. There we go. There we go. So you give me a picture of gameplay. Give me a picture of gameplay of a game I've played, and suddenly they play Mass Effect. They're good. They're good. If you like the RPG character games, like something like Dragon Age, um, but also are okay doing a little bit of shooting, they're good. Mass Effect Two is a really good one, especially. The first one and the second one are super good. The third one's okay. Andromeda is also okay. Now this looks like another GTA. Maybe not. There's a big arrow over here. Yeah, they're really good. Um, they're really good character RPGs. Good, good casts of, uh, of characters. Good stories. Oh, the stories are fine. Mm -mm. They're good time. Old school Bioware. They are pretty time consuming though. <laughs> They're not small games. I don't know what this is. Ooh. Wait. Is that the... The, like the Metal Gear. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Is that like four? Wait. Uh, oh, five. Phantom Pain? Nope. What the hell? Is that Machete? What is this? <laughs> what? Um. Like a Far Cry? What the? What is going on in Far Cry 6? <laughs> what the? <fuck? laughs> okay. Oh, I must have already. I must have done this one to try and get out of the game thing, like to go back to the series of games. Um, don't know what this is. Look how crunchy it is. This is the crunchy. Wait, what's um? Is this not another one of the game we just had? Or it was called like it was called like over. Over dr drive. No, it was um. Uh, wait. It was one I skipped all the way through. Oh, I've done a couple of those today, huh? Um. That's probably too far ago. Well, maybe. No, oh, it's... See Skylines, Boneworks, Ninja Blade, the three. Yeah, I mean, I personally love, um, I love early Bioware games. Dragon Age, Dragon Age 2, excellent. I guess my, my relationship with Bioware games are very similar. Love Dragon Age 1 and 2, Dragon Age 3, okay. <laughs> Mass Effect 1 and 2, Love them. Three? Okay. <laughs> I 
probably th how many, where where was it? It's probably not gonna be helpful to um, but you never know. Mm -mm -mm. Or is it longer ago than Riders Republic? Wipeout three. I'm like this this one up here is looking like the same game. Wait, what? Oh, here we go. Wipe out. Guess we'll go with two. I mean, it's really we're having another of this. Okay. We already had wipe. Or is it sixty-four? This was wipeout. That wasn't in the list. That's what I was talking. Okay, whatever, dude. You had two wipeout games in like four. Dude, what the fuck? I've I okay, whatever. Sure. <laughs> wow, today's been kind of uh, very yellow. Very yellow game. Looks like a fun racing game. Does it? Uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> this is some sort of like Final Fantasy. Whoa, wait, that's a persona person. I think that I mean look at this art style. Um, which one though? Four? Hell yeah. Huh, never played a persona game. But they do have this very unique style. Chie jump scare? Is was that who that was? I don't, or, or did it have a name? It probably did. It did. I didn't even notice that. They're all meeting at June's. Oh, I didn't even register she had a name. Hmm. Scrapes on the walls. This is a very nondescript image. This is what? No, damn it. Oh, okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know, I was like, maybe this is going to be one where later I'm going to be like, oh, damn. But, yep. No. 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 That. Yep. No, I missed it. Miss Fruit Ninja. Damn. Okay. Okay. Nope. Nope. That was fair. That was fair. I missed that one. <gasps> Whoa. I feel like this looks like a game I played on Iron Games. I'm not aware of an actual official video game that looked like this, though. I don't. Well, maybe. Hmm. Is. Nah, that's, that's not what RuneScape looked like, right? It's probably some sort of weird or early online game. Tibia? Never heard of that. I feel like there are some people's heads at the bottom of this image. Like, I think I feel like this is hair and like this is hair. Without a little bit more information, I have no idea what this is. Well, maybe, or is this some sort of like Zelda? No? Okay, I mean, given the vagueness of these images, it must be some game that people really love. Two money. Command attack. This is a Keyblade game? 
This one of them, uh, what's... It's the one I always get confused with Final Fantasy. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, um... Good lord, whichever... Uh, this, this one does look pretty old. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, no wonder it's... The games like this, with these screenshots that are literally nothing. This is... These are actually... There's nothing here. I mean, maybe this. This is... Is this kind of themed? This is just a picture of a wall. These are, like, the... If you know this game... Then you can get it. Meh. Compass pointer objective four. Press X to use medikit. Or something nope um i don't know call of duty that's all i got sniper elite okay oh okay this was death loop Whoa! Crunchy old game. Um, God, this could be anything. Could be a Metroid. Could be like a what's Mega Man? Oh my God! Tracking keep turning around. Um, a Sonic. I mean, someone that someone over here is slightly green. It's a gun, or is it what like Contra? Was that already on here? I can't try to drop drop a Metroid. Um, uh, a Sonic. No. Oh, there's a. There's is is this the main character? What, like a what's with that bomber man or whatever? No. Is this is is that the character? What is that? Oh yeah, that's the main character is this little little guy. Apparently that's that's Rick Dangerous himself. <laughs> um I don't think I know what this I don't think I know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Gonna be honest here. Um, I still have no idea. Oh, wait, is this like Geometry Dash or something? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh. Oh, it's like pictures of the background. Wow. Okay, this game has looked a lot. This this game has evolved. This looks. This is much more complicated than the game I remember. Wow, that was crazy. Whoa. Or is is this Loco Roco? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Look at that fun little tropical background. Dang, why do the PSP backgrounds look so distinct? <laughs> this this video. 
Um, what, what am I looking at? Lava. Oh, is this like? Um, but Dwarf Fortress. Oh, yeah, okay. No, it was, yeah. Oh, there's probably just there's been so many different iterations of it. There's a bunch of different looking screenshots. <laughs> OG. Yeah, okay. Dwarf Fortress. Okay, I'm seeing. A guide? Two guides? I don't have any guesses. Is this another hunting game? Wait. Is this... I don't... Oh god, is this some sort of... Um, Crest Revive. Is this one of them... Battle Royale games? What's like... Uh, what is like Warzone? No, or one of them player PUBGs. Oh, I'm sorry, is this one just called PUBG? Okay, sorry. No? 2023, oh god. The finals. That, that's a, it's one of them battle royales, right? The finals. Wasn't this 5v5? Oh, it's a, it's a team shooter. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm looking at, but maybe I'll just throw out a StarCraft 2? No, okay, suddenly we're in some sort of MMO? Is this, is this Diablo Immortal? Damn. Look, I mean, I don't, I still don't know what this picture is. Yo. <laughs> but I was like, I think that's a little low poly necromancer. Okay, damn, nice. Okay, that first picture was kind of weird, but. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get this one. I don't think I have any idea what this is. Wait. Oh, that's open stowage. I thought it was like open storage, but ubu speak. Open stowage. <laughs> open your stowage. It's like some sort of like submarine game. What the fuck? Barrow trauma. It's a submarine game. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, phone on desk. No Metacritic for original release platform. Seventy percent, seventy-four percent on Dreamcast. Is this is this like? Metal gear. Solid. Ooh, look at those little legs. Regina. Dino Crisis. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay. Ooh. 
That's a pretty tree. Very blue. <laughs> I put my hands by my face. I spin around. Donald Christ was a thing. I did not know it was a thing to begin with. I've never heard of that. Blue tree. Why is my PC fan going right now? Hyperlight Drifter, right? No. Hmm. Mobile PS4 Switch PC. Adventure Arcade Indie Music. Another Muse Dash. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what this is. Sayonara Wild Hearts. Okay. Ooh, look at those trees. Maybe is this like what's a expendabros? Is that not or bro force maybe that could work yeah there it is i think that that's my that might have been what i was thinking of i don't know why i called it expend bros bro force yeah nice little pixel graphics hell yeah this this is the first screenshot um this is just three colors this is like guess the game based on the color palette what game is gray blue and green all over um i don't know maybe skip Ooh, what game is a little bit green a little bit orange white and brown Ooh. I'm sorry, is this supposed to is this supposed to mean anything to me? Four meters. But British. Wait, is this <laughs> OP calves? Um, sports. Was it like, but like quap, but for people? I thought that was. Wait. I thought quap was horses. What? What? I th thought Quap was horse. Oh, that's Clop. Oh. I. I 
I always thought Quop was Clop. I saw the unicorn and I... Huh. Still doesn't make these first couple images any... These three, it still doesn't make these any better. <laughs> hmm. Um... Hmm... I don't know if I know this one. Um, is that snake in midair or what? snake eater. <laughs> That's why there's a snake. I should have known. I should have known. Oh my god, look at that ladder. Is that the ladder? The famous ladder? Holy shit. That's quite the ladder. Look at that castle. It's a nice looking castle. Whoa, look at those catapults. A lot of catapults. Ooh, what? Ooh, wait, hang on. Wait, uh, wait, go back. What? So we have very stereotypical m medieval, like, warfare thing. And then we've got bone snake plant root guy? What happened? I, I have no idea what this is. What? I was... Okay. Um, I guess which Witcher game is this? I, I have, I have only played the third one. So this is definitely either one or two. Huh. <laughs> Garrett looking spooky. Huh. Wow, I did not see that coming at all. Okay. Um. What is this like? What's the don't starve together? Huh. Well, see, there is something to be said about games with unique art styles. I've not played the game, but I feel like I could recognize that kind of, like, painted, dark quality. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Oh, God. What is that? Is that a bridge? Or a wall? It was probably a wall. Is this, is this like, doom? It's a doom. Uh, doom two. Yep. Okay. All right then. Um. Wow. I. Doom is cool, but gross. Because, like, the blood? I don't know how to feel about this image. I feel like there's not a lot to go on. Whoa. Look at that bridge. Oh my god. Wait. Is this Clash Royale? Whoa. What? Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Why was this your first image? 
This one would have done fine for image number one. Yo. Oh, and then, okay. Yeah. Damn. Wow. It's been a long time since I've seen that. Actually, I mean, long since I played it, I did see someone playing Clash Royale on the last vacation I went on. And I was like, oh my God, people still play that? Wait, I'm sorry. Did that description just say if you love what? Um, if you're a fan of real-time strategy games like Age of Empires or MOBAs like League of Legends and Dota 2, you're going to love Clash Royale. Excuse me, huh? Uh, why does it say MOBA? Combining elements of collectible card games, tower defense, and multiplayer online battle arena, MOBA. No, this has nothing to do with MOBAs. No. No, it, nuh -uh. What? Uh, okay, that this is a this is a weird description. Um, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Um I'm not getting anything from this. Oh? Is it some sort of like Castlevania or what's what's like that rogue rogue legacy? It was the first one. Ah. Okay. Never played it. Heard heard good things, because that's like where roguelikes originated. So have to pay pay homage. Now, now, um, okay. This is just, I, you know, I've gotten some pretty crazy, um nailed it guesses I do not believe that this is possible to determine a game I was you know I was joking about the quap one that it was just three colors but suddenly that picture is looking very detailed because it was three colors blending together this picture is literally just two colors brown and darker brown or dark brown and lighter brown this is just two shades of brown i mean what what game couldn't you find this screenshot from you could find a corner in anything and I don't know. Okay. Do I have any guess? It's probably some sort of cube. May it like right this is probably an intersection of like a surface like this is like a top of it and this is a side or that could be a room like this is the floor this is a wall um but it's gotta be from something like super popular right because they wouldn't give you such a stupid first image if it was from something obscure right um so what's something like is this like, I don't know, but they already had like Roblox. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I have no idea. Oh, praise be, we've received a third color.
This is um, this is gameplay. Are you the triangle? Super hexagon. Oh, it's a it's an it's a it's a mobile phone game. What? But uh, um, I'm gonna pretend like that one didn't happen. Good lord. Okay. That's just I, okay. Hmm. This could be a lot of things. There's some sort of like two thousands dungeon crawling game. Oh, suddenly maybe lasers. Okay, nope, I have no idea what this is. There's some sort of blonde, perhaps anime man fighting this purple and green monster? It's on the Switch and the 3DS, so it must be kind of recent. What? Fire Emblem Warriors. Huh. Okay. Metacritic scored 96%. Oh. Wait. Panda, isn't this is this another is this another Tekken? Tekken 2? Tekken Advance? I think it was Tekken 3. We had Tekken 1 and Tekken 3 in the same day? Oh. Okay. A lot of repeats today. I do think I am playing a kind of crazy amount of it, but... Um... Purple. Dude, what are these pictures? What am I... Uh -huh. What, are, what is that? Is that a, is that a dude? Is those eyes? I thumper. Okay. Next. Those are pretty trees. <clears throat> um, I don't have anything to go off of here, though. Oh, is it what's a dragon quest builder? Okay, well, I mean, I. I wouldn't have uh, the first image. I don't know. Second image, know it. <clears throat> yeah, I saw like trailers for it, and I was like, "Oh, that looks kind of cool." Didn't play it though. It looked interesting. I got nothing. Uh, I mean, this looks much more like a game now. Doesn't mean I know anything about whatever this little red bird is doing. Moon, moon equals two. 
red bird runs away from the four pile. Pick a mountain to climb. So the newly announced Dragon Quest game is in the dumps pretty much. What does that mean? <clears throat> is in the dumps pretty much? <clears throat> Oh, is this just mountain climbers? Is this where the titular mountain climbers come from? Maybe it's not called that. Ice climber. Yeah, it's the it's the little dudes who are in the Smash Bros or whatever. Huh. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. In the dumps. <clears throat> what is this? PS Vita, PS4. What's a lady? Whoa. Velocity 2X. I don't know it. Torian was dead, even if he wasn't our director or anything, and then there was something about one of the directors of the game getting fired. Oh, well. Pokemon. Pokemon sleep? Boom. Um... Because it's like you're like based on people not being on it anymore, that it'll be bad. <clears throat> Chan did stay the chores. Wait, is this another Yakuza? Zero? Sure, we'll go with that. Nope. It is a Yakuza. Oh, this year? Um... Which Yakuza came out this year? Seven? No. Uh-oh. Not that it'd be bad, but it's not looking good for the game. As in, like, a possible cancellation. Oh! Hmm. Very. I mean, oh, it was called Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. It wasn't. It's a Yakuza, but Yakuza was it in the title? It's like a it's like a connection game. You have Yakuza like a dragon and then like a dragon infinite wealth. What the fuck? I'm never gonna understand how that's labeled. Um, I would have guessed Lethal Company on this if there hadn't already been one. Um, a little reticle down here and reticle up there. Shooting. I don't know, is this like a Call of Duty? Mm -mm. Yeah, because it's cosplaying us in Japan. Hmm. God. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. No, oh, Wolfenstein? New Colossus? Hmm, okay. Ooh. Some sort of Paved road somewhere. 
Oh, is this like the um Blood Ball? Blood Bowl? Blood Bowl? Oh, which one? Three? Nice. Sick. It's like a it's like bloody football fantasy murder sport. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, actually, I've um, got nothing on this one. Percent complete. Whoa. Oh, is that like, is that like Warcraft? Is it Warcraft 2? <laughs> Tides of darkness. Huh. Okay. Oh look, there's that ground texture. Yeah, I never never played the Warcraft titles. Um Oh, spin around real quick, why don't you? Is this another RTS back to back? Oh, wait, <laughs> magic. What? This is a fire emblem guy, but what's going on here? Um, what's it? Was it like fire emblem in engage? That was the new one, right? Oh, huh. Because this is the most recent one, I think. I haven't, I didn't uh, look into what that one was really about. Okay. Sure. Wow, this is nothing. <laughs> Wait. Is that a ranker? This is a Star Wars game. Uh Oh no. Bounty hunter? Um I don't I don't know what game. I've never I've uh I've never heard of this before. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. Race Avenger Mall Force Unleashed 13 15 Battlefront Super Star Wars Connect Star Wars Star Wars Hunters Star Wars Pinball Class is over Hell yeah Star Wars OE1 Star Wars Knights of the Republic Star Wars Racer Star Wars Demolition WWE Star Wars Um I'm surprised this wasn't that that bounty hunter one. I'm not seeing anything else that really strikes me. Masters of Taras Kasi? No. Lethal Alliance. Hibernate for four months. That's a long time. That's a long time. Ooh, look at this nice green background. Don't know what it is though. Three gold! Whoa! Oh, it's this super auto pets. Ah, okay. Mm, I don't think I would have. I don't think I would have seen that coming until until that picture. I really. I think I needed the full full picture to see that coming. Like, are you, are you done with, done with class for, like, the summer? <laughs> Is that already? Oh, semester. Damn. That's, it, that seems early. I don't, I feel like, I mean, like, I guess, 
Damn. Well, congratulations. Um, is this that VR game? Oh, it's like, what's like blade and sorcery? No. Um. Uh. Hell Splitter, you know, not that one. Blade and what? Played in what? Played oh, yeah, in sorcery. What? I'm, I'm... Hmm. An extra month each semester? Like in class or or like between? I don't oh four months of summer break got it yeah yeah, yeah. cuz is it like wait are you saying like instead of four months of summer you have like semester month semester three months kind of thing or but damn yeah that's a that's a pretty hefty summer break little bird oh this is the Prince of Persia game um lost crown I played the demo so I know what that image is we used to get two months of summer but it's in college I'd rather have less cramming during class Damn. Huh. Oh, whoa, is that... Do they have, like, an OG outfit? That's cool. No, I... I, I would never... I, I personally would never wish for more class, but... You do you, right? I don't know what this picture is. Is Zegler Forbes Repair Turret? Brink. Hmm, okay. These pictures are getting really vague. Weekly chapter assignment. During the day on the exam. Hmm. Sometimes games to buy? <laughs> Too many things releasing this year? Oh. That's rough. Well, which one do you want to play? <laughs> this picture is like a rope. What are it sports? Tony Hawk? I don't know. Too many games, not enough free cash. Oh. Oh, it's Tony Hawk American Wasteland. My bad. But I mean, you, I, just, you, don't, you probably don't have time to play all of them anyway, so. Which one do you want to play the most? I don't know what this is. Was oh, this like a, an old school Fallout? Uh, E3? 
seeds in the franchise. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 got a trailer. So happy with that. Oh, nice. It's pretty expensive here, no. Because it's like 110. Jesus Christ, what? <clears throat> okay. Um, but it's none of these. Or is it Brotherhood of Steel? No. Um... Uh, I don't. Oh, is that oh that oh shit! That's what Fallout Two looked like. Oh, good lord! I didn't realize. Whoops. That. Uh. Okay. No, that that that's on me. Um. Is that a? Oh, there's. Is there? I see his eye. Looking like some sort of a uh, Morrowind. No? Um... Huh. Mystery Adventure RPG. What is this? They had like a gun. It almost looked like, like one of those new Assassin Creed games. But there's a gun? What? Hello, Cameron. What is this game? The Forgotten City. Story to exploration games steered by clever games and dialogue, clever puzzles and dialogue developed by modern storytelling released in 2021. Roman City in a repeating time loop. Huh. Huh. If anyone in the city sins, everyone will be punished. Huh. Interesting. Oh, hey. Um. So, what's a Pacific Drive? Whoa, yeah, we're getting. We're getting close to the present here. That's a that's a that's a new game. I mean like I feel like these days I pretty much operate just on like what game do I want to play? There's also if you like if you don't have a Xbox Game Pass, that probably should be decently affordable and there's a lot on there and so if you can find a couple things on there suddenly that's very worth it even if you'd get it for like just a little bit is this one of the new one of them one of them is new ratchet and clanks maybe i don't like this ad that's the stanley playoffs thing it's really affecting my screen um Uh, let's try. Nope, not even in the franchise. Whoa, what, what's going on there? Hmm. What am I looking at? 
original platform PC. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's the, the, the portal shooter game. Uh, oh, God, what's that called? Uh, Oh god. Um Split Gate indeed. Yeah, that's the one. Whoa. What whoop so <laughs> Wow, these must be just some other maps. Ages since anyone's played that. I'm sure there's probably people what uh Steam Charts split well there's only like 300 people playing like right now whoa august of uh, 2021 people were playing it pretty pretty hard yeah it's okay you know it's not it's not crazy Some, some people are some people are playing <laughs> I've never played it the beta of that game is this like dark and darker I've never I haven't played dark and darker no I don't know what it looks like that's not an option okay something with barrels a lot of barrels. I don't know, like a, a thief game. No. Oh, suddenly a very normal room. Looks like there's a gun there. Oh, it's just like a. Nope. <laughs> what a magic table? What the hell? There's a castle barrel room. Just a regular person's normal room with a gun on the table, and then a magic, a magic table. Is this some sort of hitman? Oh, I see. Hitman? No. Oh, uh, did we go with blood money? No. Hey, no wonder there was such a wide variety of stuff. I have no clue what I'm looking at. Still don't. Goop? Splatoon question mark? I could... Got the P. Splatoon. It was! Splat! I love... Why is that the gameplay it's showing? Huh. Okay. Well, I guess I got it. Uh, first Splatoon is a wild throwback? I uh, never. Never, never splatted a tune in my life. Not even once. I don't know what this. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Um, was this like what's like what like Creeper World or whatever? Or um, what's it called? Creep world? Oh, what's it? Hmm. Chess. I don't think so. Well, this. Uh. Uh. What? I have no clue what this is. Oh, look at that. It is a shooter. 
Look at all those dudes. Whoa. Original vampire survivor like question mark. <laughs> Robotron 64. <laughs> Why is this couch outside? What's it doing? Is this is this house flipper too? <laughs> Well, I already had House Flipper 1 today, so it doesn't make sense. That it would be there again, but I thought I'd try it. Um, suddenly you got a horror vibe. Um, it reminds me of that, that demo. That never, what? the heck lava what is this oh some sort of goat simulator is there a giraffe simulator or is it like a it's just another goat simulator three yeah okay well, that would explain why none of the previous images made any sense <laughs> Because that's just kind of the premise of the game, huh? I think that's a shark doing skateboard tricks in the ocean. Um... I see. Okay. Yo? Uh... Okay. So... Is that not like the Mario Donkey Donkey Kong? Yeah, Donkey Kong. The barrel's coming down. Look at that. Damn. Okay. Got it. Ooh. Is this that new, um, what's, uh, is it on, uh, um, okay, wait. I know that Dunky, Dunky played it. One, two. This is, this is my, this is how I'm sleuthing. Where, where was it? Cocoon. It's that easy. It's oh, yeah. I keep hitting like my. I I knew it. <laughs> I didn't remember the name. I'm not very good with names of things, but that looked like the right art style. I've almost played this game for stream a couple times because I think it's on Game Pass. Uh, I don't know what this one is. They still don't. Look at that little guy. A little dude. Platform. Switch. This is on the Switch? Slope. Slight. Is this a golfing game? What? I did not see that coming. Oh, nice shot. Wait, do you have to get a hole in one? Why am I watching this? Dynamo Woods. Wait, is that is that an actual thing? Is that no? Um, golf story. 
<gasps> what? Yo, let's go. It's just that easy. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Whoa. Good day to you. My name is Guess the Game GPT. I've taken over today's Guess the Game. You have to ask me questions to figure out what today's game is. You may not know the name of the game, but do not give up. You'll be able to figure it out from my hints. If you're smart or f if you're smart or feel free to do outside research. Here are some things to know. This game has never been featured as a daily game before. The name of today's game might be one word or multiple words. Thanks. Good luck. I suggest your first question should be ask be asking me what is today's game? Um what is is today's game? Oh bastard. I'm not telling you, huh? Ask me something else. What genre is the game the genre of today's mystery game is visual novel what is the main character's name The main character, oh, we're never getting tricky waters here, but since we're in the realm of guessing, let's just say it involves a speedy blue hedgehog who's had an unfortunate event befall him. So, it's a visual novel that features Sonic? Oh, what's that? What's the one with, like, the Sonic on the train? Um... Yeah, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yo, <laughs> well, this was kind of fun. Um, that was pretty easy. Uh, <laughs> that was a very different style. Oh, that was April Fools from. Wait, was it April Fools from this year? Oh God, maybe we're catching up. Um. I don't know, is this like Assassin's Creed? Uh Revelations? No oh Basement. Oh well, I mean Hmm. Is this some sort of thief? Okay, it's some sort of thief game. Thief 2 Metal Age. Nope. It's not the first game, right? Oh! Okay. Well, it was named Thief. All right, then. I don't know. I got nothing. Oh, gun? There's guns in this game. Um, It's on the Switch. There's also a really big monster. And it's kind of anime. It's like an anime dog dude. When they've got like a, a whip and they're opening boxes. Platinum games. What is what is this? The person playing this is uh, struggling. I don't 
astral chain. Mm, not familiar. Okay. I don't know. Is this like Undertale or something? Nope. Too old for Metacritic. Car. Is it Frogger? Oh shit. Okay. You know, when I saw these logs, I probably should have guessed. Never played Astral Chain, but people say it's really good. When? Oh shit. When did that come out? 2019. Wow, never heard of it. Hmm. Hack and slash. Platinum games. Huh. Okay. Um. It almost looks like a Animal Crossing. Maybe it is. But an older one, not. Um. Could be like new. I, oh, oh my god, I should have. I should have guessed. Dang. Oh my god. It was Animal Crossing. Damn. I should have gone with my gut. Damn. I could have gotten another in one. Oh. Look, there's like a little wizard over here. Or is is that a, is that like a, a barefoot hobbit with a sword? I um is this Lord of the Rings online? This might be a This might be crazy. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. It's it's Lord of the Rings franchise. Well, that's confusing. It was a Hobbit with a sword. Um, oof. Uh, it's not the card game. It's not Gollum. Uh, I Aragorn's quest. No, it's not Lego. Um, I guess we'll go with. Fellowship of the Ring? Okay. Wow. Puzzle Elements Fantasy. Servant of Secret Fire wielded the flame of honor. Power flame of Udun. <laughs> nice. You shall not pass. Um, I don't recognize this bench or these sunflowers or this empty bottle. Oh my God. It's the, um, the barnyard. Uh, there's a game. Oh, what's he, what's he called? What's the cow? It's, oh, what's that movie? Isn't it called like barn, barnyard? Back of the barnyard? Slop bucket games? Nope. I don't remember what that movie's called. Um. Oh, I think maybe it was called Barnyard, and I'm dumb. I should have gone with that. <laughs> okay. I was I was hoping there'd be like barnyard colon game or something. Um, but okay, did not know that was that was real. Whoa. That's pretty colorful. I don't think I know what that is though. Um <laughs> Okay. Okay, that must be that must be the background. Like way in the distance. Um Okay. 
Can I spell right? Team fight tactics. Wow. I mean, okay. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, that might technically be somewhere in the game. <laughs> I don't. Maybe it's maybe it's during carousel for one of the splits. Damn. TFT. What is what do we have? What do we have here? Um, it looks new. There's no way this is like the new game, right? Yeah, no, okay, good. Um it look at the look at the texture on his like jacket. What is this? Uh What? Action RPG. Um, blame. Wait, hang on. Actually, wait a second. Is this? Uh, did he? Uh, is this the game he played? Remember, I think it was. I think someone else. This one. Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden. Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden. Boom! It's that easy. Research, baby. <laughs> okay. Huh. How about that? Okay. Uh, look at that. Look at those. Look at those bricks. Bro, he wearing the sandals with the socks. BB. Seven, seven, seven. Original platform. We. Action third person hack and slash quick time events. Wait, isn't this the No More Heroes game? Maybe it's the second one. Ah, because the first game I think was already on the list. Too old for Metacritic. Still don't know what I'm looking at. Look at that weird little dinosaur thing. Um. Is. Is this. Is this their head? Is this their head? Like, is this their head and this is their hand? Is this their feet? Is this a character? I don't. I can't even parse what I'm supposed to be seeing here. Namco Unlimited. I have no clue what this is. Clonoa Door to Phantom Meal. Bro, we're making stuff up now. <laughs> Uh... 
I know about this one. Ooh. Sniper rifle. When was this? 58%. Oof. Shooter. Sci fi. Okay. From 2003. Oh, it's some sort of Matrix game? Or. or not? Wood steak. It. I feel like at this point, it's either some sort of weird Matrix or Blade game. Uh, we'll go with Matrix. It was Enter the Matrix. Okay, why does he have a wooden stake though? <laughs> That's interesting. That almost looks like like Risk of Rain 2, but I think that was already on here, wasn't it? No. Oh. Okay, we got some sort of summoning circle. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure I know what that one is. Oh, you have some wolves. PC and Lips. 28 gold, action RPG, fantasy. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, wait. Um, oh, is that, um, the new ARPG where it's called like Echoes of um uh ARPG Echoes no not Echoes uh, I thought it was called Echoes or something. Um, I think... Oh god, this is gonna be hard to track down. Um... I think there was Aspen Gold videos on it a while ago. Oh god, this is... Oh no. Not a... Not a good way to look for, for things. Um... Dang, this was longer ago than I thought it was. Because I'm pretty sure it's... It's, um... It's an ARPG... Um, that came out... Last Epoch! Not Echoes. I don't know. I don't know why. Hey, there it is. Huh. Forgot about that. Um, nice flowers. Is this some sort of other? Nope. Genre adventure top down. No idea. Jurassic Park. What is this? The blue crystal enters the beige sphere. Space station in space. The golden sheriff badge falls from the heavens. Mario. Okay. Um. Do we go 
it's like there's the gal galaxy 2 sure we'll go with that yeah okay uh-huh sure thing <laughs> okay um falling space junk This could be, this could be Halo 4. <laughs> uh. Okay, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Wait, what is this picture? Wait, what? What is this a picture of? Yeah, because this is the opening of the game. Oh my god, that was it. Was them? It was a screenshot, a cropped screenshot of them scoped in. That's wild. It was the top left corner. Okay. Nice. I did get it though. I did get it though. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. We just pop a metal gear. Nope. Damn. Um someone's got a hand. He's got all his fingers. Um, some sort of brick, stone brick building. A game where you can level up. From 2010. Wow. <laughs> Look, a little sneak around. Is this what a Deus Ex looks like sometimes? No, this was Alpha Protocol. Oh, it's like a little like stealth shooter. That's interesting. Huh. How about that? Uh I don't know what that is. Total score. Harlow, Shiraco, Justicia, and Obi. Racing, driving, escaping. Criterion software. Um, I don't know. NFS Unbound. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Did we finish? Yep. Damn, that was all of them. We finished guessing the games. What are my stats like? My win distribution. I have an 80% win rate. Um, and I have 105 number one guesses. Sheesh. I'm a superior screenshot strategist. Hey, welcome back. Oh. Oh, look at that. Superior screenshot strategist. I don't know what the next one is. Hmm. Yeah. That's, it is pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Where's my 91 streak, huh? Oh. Wait, right here. I do think I... I cheated a lot more earlier on. I think it must be this one right here. This, um, 
22 through 112. Although, I mean, like, this series of five in a row, one shot. Oh, Jack. Papers, please. Pokemon Go. Metroid Prime. Like, that, these, these you can't, can't fake those. I guess I could try some of that. What's it? Guess the audio. Well, okay, wait, hang on. Audio, f it's a, s oh, it's a song? Oh, low, low, low. That's really loud, actually. That was actually kind of painful. Apple Bottom Jeans? Uh, what's the name of that song? Is it called Apple Bottom Jeans? That's low. <laughs> that was really loud. Um, nailed it. Okay, are they all songs or? That was really loud. Oh. Um. They are all songs. Hmm. Guess the book. Oh. And suddenly I'm so afraid for him. What has he done? Something terribly dangerous, an act of rebellion in itself. And, it, and he's done it for me. I remember his words. Don't worry. I always channel my emotions in my work. That way I don't hurt anyone but myself. Severing the Alliance? What? What? <laughs> Suzanne Collins? Oh, it's... Wow. It's the Hunger Games. What? I did. I should have been paying attention. Wait, what do you mean? It's not. What? It's Katniss. Wait. It's not the first book. Wait. Um. Oh God, wait. Um. Mockingjay? This, <laughs> this is going, this is going bad. Shit. Uh, catching fire? <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Yikes. This is, that's really hard. When enough years had gone by to nail us to look back on them, we sometimes discuss the events leading to this, his accident. Gothic racial injustice moral growth. I wanted you to see what real courage is instead of getting the idea that courage is a man with a gun in his hand. Nineteen sixty. Wait, that's not not to kill a mockingbird, is it? Oh shit. Oh, I, this one, look back on them. We sometimes discuss the events leading to the accident. I don't know that one, that quote. Whoa, this, that's, that's rough. 
Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. Oh no. Historical poetry, wisdom, literature, prophecy. Oh no, I don't know. What causes the fights and quarrels among you? Various dates spanning centuries? Name of character, Moses. What is this, the Bible? What? What? Yeah, this is not, this is not, this ain't going well. What the hell? In short, our gentleman became so caught up in reading that he spent his nights reading from dusk till dawn and his days reading from sunrise to sunset. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Lonesome Dove? Nope. There is no book so bad that it does not have something good in it. Humor, Romance, Critique. I'm sorry, the release year was 1605 and 1615? But What? Um, author Miguel de Cervantes. So little sitting in so much reading, his brain dried up and he went completely out of his mind. Wait, is this Don Quixote? What? I have not read that. Okay. That's crazy. You possess a kind of inner force that seeks to guide you toward your life's task. What you're meant to accomplish. Wait, hang on. This is the alchemist. No, surely it is. No, it's gotta be. Oh. Wait. No, it's the courage to be. No, nope. nope, it's not. Are you sure? Are we sure about that? Really? Are, you sh are we sure? Are we sure? Wait, what? Ash? Wait. Women to realize. Maybe, maybe books aren't. Wait, oh, I was. Oh, God, I was pressing later on them. Um, life's task. Oh, did I. Did I. Okay, wait. What? Is this not? Robert Green. Oh. Maybe I don't know this. Charles Darwin. Mass okay, maybe okay, maybe it was just similar to things I'd read. Stared out my shoes watching as a fine layer of ash shells on the worn leather. So there's a fire in this book. Young adult dystopian science fiction classic. It takes ten times as long to put yourself back together as it does to fall apart. Wait, is this somehow is this the Hunger Games? No. Fire is catching, and if we burn, you burn with us. Is that... I did... What? what? This one was Mockingjay. Ironically, this one was actually not catching fire. 
I've guessed like four or five books and two of them have been the, from the Hunger Games series. <laughs> That's ironic. Not ironic. What a coincidence that it happens to be like the latest one and in the first four. This is a wacky set. As human beings in our earliest years, we reside in a land before memory. We like to think of ourselves as emerging from this primordial fog with our characters fully formed. Dude, I don't know. Psychological thriller mystery fiction. We often mistake love for fireworks, for drama and dysfunction. But real love is very quiet, very still. It's boring. It seems to be drama. Love is deep and calm and constant. Remember, love that doesn't include honesty doesn't deserve to be called loved. Okay. Alex... Michelle, you becoming sick of madness. I don't know. I <laughs> the story revolves all around a woman who shoots her husband and then stops speaking, communicating only through a haunting painting. What? The silent patient. What the hell? <laughs> Wasn't that the point of the book for women to realize we are just two people? Not that much separates us. Not nearly as much as I thought. Historical fiction. Oh no. You skip. The, the most important reason for going from one place to another is to see what's in between. Have you ever heard the wonderful silence just before the dawn? 1961. It's not just learning that's important. It's learning what to do with what you learn and learning why you learn things at all that matters. What the hell? Norton Jester? Phantom Tollbooth. Oh, I probably should have known that. Okay. Reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. The man who never reads lives only one. That's a quote. I, but I don't remember. Men live their lives trapped in an eternal present. The mists of memory and the sea of shadow. That's all we know of the days to come. Oh, no. So, which, which Game of Thrones book? Um, we start with the first one. Oh, I don't, I don't remember what the last one were called. What, like a storm of swords? Nope. Um, a feast for crows. Uh, that's the ones I remember. Dance with dragons. I listen. I was <laughs> haven't read them. To the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. It is true then what they're saying on the train. Um. <laughs> The train. It's Harry Potter. Damn. You don't get to choose if if you get hurt in this world, but you ha do have some say in who hurts you. I like my choices. I fell in love the way you fall asleep slowly, then all at once. Wait. Oh no. Is it like, is that Twilight? No? Oh, I wouldn't mind Hazel Grace. Oh, um, uh, that's, um, that's John Green. Fault in the Stars? I got one! I want to get one in one. When you're a conservative Republican, you never think people are making money by ripping off other people off, he said, his mind now fully open to the possibility. I now realize there was an entire industry called the consumer finance that basically existed to rip people off. Um, I'm just going to skip that one entirely. 
You belong to me and all Paris belongs to me and I belong to this notebook and this pencil. Um, Skip. How life from being made up of little separate incidents, which one lived one by one, became curled and hold like a wave which bore one up. What is the meaning of life? That was all. A simple question. Um, skip. <laughs> the visitor listened, sat and listened to her retreating feet. He glanced inquiringly at the window before he removed his serviette and resumed his meal. He took a mouthful, glanced suspiciously at the window, took another mouthful, then rose and... And and? There's two ands here. Then rose and, and taking the serviette in his hand, walked across the room and pulled the blind down to the top of the white muslin that secured the lower panes. What is going on here? The stranger came in early in February, one wintry day, through a biting wind and driving snow. Is this like, um, the Invisible Man or something? I don't, I never read that one. Not the H.G. Wells one. Never mind. <laughs> maybe, maybe it has a different name. 1897. What is H.G. Wells? What? Wait. Was it? Am I? Am I stupid? I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> Good. I made myself a snowball as perfect as could be. Boy, does that not. Oh, it's poetry. No, thanks. No, no, this is this isn't going anywhere. This is this is no, no. Oh. There's nothing in the world that good food cannot fix. Always be polite to the person who has the option of letting you die. What are these? <laughs> I see the Mormon brought the queen her offering of coffee. What is this? Huh. Odd to me that anyone would bother with a f with faking a crappy beach town. What? What is this? Friends see most of each other's flaws. Spouses see every awful last bit. Gillian Flynn. Nick Doom. On the fifth wedding anniversary, Amy goes missing. As the police investigation unfolds, the marriage of Amy and Nick is scrutinized, revealing twisted mind games and dark secrets. Gone girl. Oh, what was with the beach town? This is, I, I know nothing about books. Times, the thief of memory. Well, oh wait, is this, wait, um, The Martian. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I got one in one, I can quit. <laughs> I got it, and we're done. Sick. <laughs> I'm very good at that. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Well, I officially got one in one for each of the categories. Song, book, how much you know. Uh, what, how many books I scrolled through to find one that I finally was able to get. Oof. It took a while. <laughs> 
it took a while. I had to scroll through quite a few there. <laughs> oh. The Epic Games Launcher right now is using 25% of my CPU and 37% of my network capacity. What is it doing? Epic Games, what are you doing, bud? A win's a win. Hell yeah. What it's not even open. What are you what are you doing? What are you doing, my guy? Doesn't say it's doing anything. Are you like downloading something? Um Anything that's not Steam is always so jank. Like any other game launcher that's not Steam or like any other program that's not Steam. Origin Epic. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as game launchers go. Is Origin even still a thing? I think they got rid of that. Like, was it trying to update something I've installed? I don't even have anything installed anymore on here. Moron. EA. I do have the EA app. It's weird. I feel like Epic hasn't done anything super weird recently, but apparently it was not happy right now. <laughs> do we, did we fix that? What was it doing? Hmm. I don't know, just checking in, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I was gonna look into um by EA games on Steam, but you still need the EA app to play them? Oh. I guess I haven't run into that in a while. I feel like the last time that happened was I was playing was like for honor and you need like the U play or something. Hasn't happened to me in, a, in in quite some time. Big need for speed sales. Oh? I see. I'm, I the only racing games I really ever played were um, Burnout. Uh, other than that, games are five dollars, so you had to buy them. Okay, well I, I guess if you're into into the franchise and you know it'll be a good uh, good investment. I hadn't thought last night that I would run out of games to guess. I mean, actually I did and I was like, I should slow down. And then I kind of just didn't do that. I, I could probably end early, I guess. <laughs> Super game. I would. Yeah, I mean, I just, well, once I put my mind to something, I'm just going to sit there and do it. 
unless I get supremely distracted. I only got distracted like a little bit. Well, the hard thing with the, the game guessing was like, it was either something I had no idea of, so I just skipped through the whole thing because I wasn't gonna figure out what it was if I haven't played it or seen it before, or I knew it. There wasn't a lot that was like in between where I needed to think about it. It was either like, well, I haven't seen that skip, haven't seen that skip, and then you go through like, well, that, I've never even heard of that game. <laughs> like, there's no way to get around that. If I've, if I've never encountered it before, I'm not suddenly going to figure out what it was. <laughs> Which is hard. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Hmm. Well, that was I. I do. I. I think I'll probably need to. Check back in with Genshin. I might need to play Genshin Impact again soon. <laughs> That's something that might happen. I'll need to look into that. I guess it'll, it depends on how much, how big the install is these days. Um, ah, uh, it's gotta be up there with, it's gotta be a shit ton these days. Genshin. Oh, size. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's only. Th it says only 30 right now? That seems. Crazy. Impact third. Uh, well, I there's a there's a new character coming out that finally interests me enough that I might need to go play more. It's hard though. I know it's funny. I was thinking about it last night, and I'm like, like the the ah uh, the game is so close to being super. Like the music and the world and the, and the characters are good, but like the end game stuff just turns me off so hard. The artifact farming is so stupid. <laughs> um, hmm. To, I'll have to investigate. I know it's the, like, because for, for being free, like, it's actually incredible. And I remember, I remember in, like, the, the first year of me playing was like, this is insane. Like, it's so high quality and all this stuff. But then after, like, the a year that I spent at max level and I my character's builds got, like, 10% better. And you just never get the perfect artifact. So, you just are not. <laughs> There's like the ability as free to play to to get geared for endgame is like zero percent, which is really annoying. And I should just be like, well, it's okay that you can't just mop the floor with stuff. But like, I w I want that in my game too. <laughs> uh. Wow. First pull ever. Sheesh. Little Klee. Klee is so cute. Klee's adorable. And I'm like, is there any way you can you check? Wait. Um 
on the Hoyo verse, it doesn't tell you how many like Primo gems you have, right? Uh, ooh, I don't think it does. Here's a five star. Hell yeah. Keep playing. A single pull. Damn. That's pretty nuts. Dang. Hmm. Um, achievement center? No. Characters? Oh, you can see how many I have. It doesn't... <laughs> That's a, my... It's like... I have all 66 animal oculi, 131 geo oculi, 181 electro oculi, and then five dendro oculi. Lamel. Kazaha for $150. Yeah, that's. Oof. That's expensive. Oh, that's because you said you only you said you only played like 10 hours and then $150 and quit, right? Damn. That's that's rough. Cheese. Cheesed. I don't know if I feel like I know what that means in that context. Not too happy about it. I see. That makes sense. Yeah, I believe I have spent twenty dollars on Genshin, or maybe it was like thirty. I spent like once or twice. That's for my for to get. Get, get Zhao, get my boy. Um. Hmm. I know I'll have to. I think it might be about time to play again. COVID money, Lamau. Fair enough. Learned never again. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I personally think, um, spending on gotcha games is, not the greatest idea. You have to go in knowing that it's not really gonna be worth, <laughs> like, the same monetary like spending on gacha games is not going to give you the same amount of like cost benefit ratio as it would for like buying a game or food or anything in real life and as long as you go into the transaction knowing that you'll be okay <laughs> but if you go into it thinking that it'll be worth it in the grand scheme, it won't. I don't think it ever will be. 
<laughs> but that doesn't mean you can't be like, okay, I'm gonna want I want a single thing in this game and I'm gonna spend two hundred dollars to get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, the the best the the most cost efficient ways are to do like the five dollar one month things because they give you proportionally more but yeah no once you're like well I, I just want the thing and they're like well sunk costs i've already you know put in this much i might as well just keep spending until i hit it because otherwise it would just be a waste right yeah you know statistically most gamblers quit before they make it big <laughs> you just gotta gotta keep going right might as well you already spent a little bit Might as well get get the Kazaha, right? Already put in a little bit of money. Don't don't let that pity go to waste. Oh oh gotcha games. Oh gotcha games. The human psyche. Oh I'm all all turned around. My tracking's not been super happy these days. I don't know what's up with that. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I think the heart, the way it, it often does that when I'm not looking like head on. And so I don't see it happen. I just kind of see it fixing itself afterwards, which is like, what? Huh? What was going on there? <laughs> which is, which is awkward. Cause it's like, I think the reason it's happening is because I'm not looking. But, and so that, I don't think there's, there's like a lot of ways for me to get it to happen. Actually, I bet if I, if I, um, if I block the camera, maybe, mm. Hey, Nico, what's up? Literally just a webcam I'm using and not the weird iPhone trick. Um, You'll have to be more specific about what you're asking. Um, I do think weird iPhone trick. Um, f the my webcam does the the 3D tracking. If I didn't have the webcam, it would just be facial tracking. Like it with the the like iPhones as far as I'm aware. I I don't have any iPhone tech that does um 3D motion stuff. Full ponytail. I know it's something about um right now it oh uh, well now I'm, it's not I'm not gonna be able to get it to do it again. Sometimes it was earlier today it was like. I can see that my tracking decided it was going to flip me upside down. Let's see, if I just like leave the camera range, maybe it'll do something weird. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, for some reason, I mean, it ha could have something to do with like what's behind me, but it thinks there's like someone standing in the background turned around. I don't know what, what's up with that. Some special sensors. More recent iPhones that people use for scanning and now tracking. No, I mean like the so right iPhones are really good at facial recognition. So that and the uh, the more recent iPhones, right? It's like that they use that to unlock phones. So they're good at facial recognition, and that's why it's like for facial like stuff. iPhone tracking is really good for that. But no matter what it thinks my face is doing, if my webcam decides that I'm looking backwards. It'll move the whole model. Um, cause it's like a, a paired system. Um, cause normally for VTuber stuff, it's just, it's just face tracking. Um, I do think that they are, I think they're, it is moving more towards, I think you can do hand stuff now with, um, with like the VTube Studio. I don't I haven't used VTube Studio at all. Studio at all. Because I don't have a Oh, there he goes. Oh, it thinks I'm sideways. Whoa, that was weird. 
I don't have a live 2D model. I just have this 3D one, which means that the 2D stuff won't animate it because it's it's a different medium. And so I use some of the some different tools compared to what your standard um average VTuber would use because I don't have quite the right setup. Um but this was a lot easier to get into to start off with. Uh, and so I'm working with what I got. A little, little bit more, uh, a little bit more, a lot more homemade and uh, thrown together, but it is cost effective for sure. <laughs> you yeah, know, I'm like, I guess there is, I have, uh, I have this like, thing behind me it's like a like a robe like my sweatshirt um so i guess it but it's, it's it, I, I would mm, it's got a hair clip on it mm. really good for what it be yeah no i everything well actually technically technically i pay like a dollar a month for the tracking software um but like I, I made my model for myself for free, which is free is a great price, especially when like a really good, really good live 2D model is like thousands, <laughs> which is understandable because it's a ton of work. It's a ton of work, not only in the art department, but in um, rigging and stuff too. It's a ton of work. So it's like, I'm not complaining that it's expensive. Make yourself, yeah. No, this was, um, I got started for free. And technically, the only cost I incur for doing this streaming thing right now is, um, the, I pay, pay like a dollar a month for my tracking. That's it. I have, I did, I, I make, I make my graphics myself, um, I did my, you know, my things, well actually I did, I paid, um, technically the, this background music that you're listening to here, uh, for this and waiting room is free to use, but I did pay them, it's on Kofi and I, or Kofi, wherever, how you say it, I did, I did give them money because I wanted to pay for it. Trying it out, but I got slight problems with commitment. I mean, um, you can definitely try all sorts of um, street if you just streaming itself. Um, no model, no cam, no nothing is is pretty dang easy. Basically, you just need OBS or like Twitch and their app or stuff. Um, and even VTubing, as long as you like go out and research a little bit of what's out there it's totally it doesn't require a lot of um cost commitment um but there's some you know some time commitment involved but if it's something you think you might enjoy i definitely recommend trying it out a little bit <laughs> see once and for all if it may or may not be something you'd enjoy but yeah, no, the, um, streaming in general isn't too bad to, to try out. OBS is not too bad to try and figure out. Oh, god dang. God dang. Yeah, let's look into it. Yeah. It's funny. Some people have asked about, like, uh, a video tutorial, like, what I did to start. Um... And I'm hesitant to do that because I was able to find everything that I needed to know by doing some quick Google searches. But, like, you know, almost all the questions that you have, people have asked before and people have made pretty decent videos on. Because if you're like, hey, you just like type in, you're like, how to, how to, stream or be vtuber or any or like how to do this for free and then someone have like made a video on it um which is pretty nice where you're like how to get started 
playing video game online for free and they're like well i i use this editing software that's free and all this stuff so there's there's good good resources out there it's funny there's like people like why don't you make a video on it i'm like well because the and i i i just went and found um I found the answer to my question in the other video, and I'm like, so if I went and made my own, it would sort of be a little disingenuous because I basically got the information from someone else in the first place. And while I might be like, well, this is what I do and how I do it specifically and stuff, like it's not one to one because I just, you know, use used bits and pieces of it. It's not, I'm like, I don't know if I'd do a better job. You might as well just watch the same video that I did and then make your own take on it too. Rather than us playing like the telephone game. <laughs> it's funny. I, I was, um, it was a long time ago, but, uh, back when people were asking more consistently, uh, and I went and I went through and I, I think I found like all the videos that I went and watched when I was doing my like setup and stuff. So it exists somewhere. I don't know when that was though. <laughs> but the information is out there. Yeah, I know, because you go out and you it's like if the information isn't isn't available, or I'm doing something like, oh I found this like super good tip or trick or something. But I uh, I'm not doing anything unique. <laughs> Which is maybe, maybe why I'm not hitting the algorithm. Not doing anything unique. I am me though. So I'm hoping that's enough. I'm thinking it should be. <laughs> we shall see. But yeah, no, it's, uh, it's interesting. It has been like a year. I did, I started streaming consistently last April. Algorithm, yeah. Well, I mean, it's funny, it doesn't, from an outside perspective, it doesn't make sense for the algorithm to try and push newer stuff that's unproven very much, because it should do it like a little bit, but like the algorithm just wants people to, to click on things and like things and spend time watching ads and things. And since I don't have any monetization it's not like it has a great desire to do that <laughs> it has to be really sure this is what someone wants to be sh what what someone wants to see <laughs> or someone accidentally is searching for like the game i'm playing because i mean like if you're an unthinking unfeeling string of numbers that is trying to generate money for a website you wouldn't send people to something that doesn't make money <laughs> you're like looking at grand blue fantasy relink where it's like oh look stream yeah so i just have to i just have to get lucky enough times that people accidentally fall in here <laughs> and then stay and over time if that happens enough individual times then eventually the algorithm might try and help me out. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. I just need it. need that to happen sometimes. I start sharing more with people. Like me or it's funny. I, I was like, I've tried the whole Twitter thing, but I get, I get even less. Ah, good friends. I see. I see. I see. I see. It's funny. I know. I think about this sometimes. I'm like, oh my God, I just need to get people to get their friends to come in. But then I'm like, I don't think I have ever gotten my friends to watch anything that i liked either so i'm not 
<laughs> it's funny. I was thinking about that, like, oh, that'd be great. And I'm like, actually, I don't even, I don't, I don't know if that works. <laughs> Cause like, it was like, you know, me and my friends send each other videos of things we watch, but it's not like we, I've never, I don't know. I don't know if I've really ever started like watching a new channel because of something a friend sent me or vice versa. There have been times where me and my friends will watch the same channels, but I think it was coincidental that it happened in the first place where it's like we both watch the same League of Legends content or something. I don't think it like, I don't know if it's ever been an introduction to anything, which is funny. So I'm like, well, from my personal experience, I don't know if it actually works because I'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, if um, because it's like, um, Uh, I've had some people before being like, how do I donate to you? And I'm like, you can't. Maybe one day when I'm monetized, you'll be able to do that sort of thing. And then people are like, well, how do I support you? And, and, and I'm like, well, the only thing you can do is try and tell people. But I don't know if that has efficacy and it's no no fault of anyone's own. I think it just doesn't work like that, you know. <laughs> um, but the 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 thought and effort are the most important things because as, as I'm like I'm I'm just happy that you like me enough that you would want to try and do that. Um, but as someone who is attempting to do that full time, i.e. In, in get, uh, you know increase interest and I'm not doing that bang up of a job it is not easy because <laughs> people are people like what they're gonna like and so you can try and put something in front of them but if they don't think they're into it it's uh, like you can't like convince them otherwise so you can be like hey I found this thing that I like um, you could check it out if you want. And people are like, ooh, VTuber? No thanks. And you're like, fair enough. <laughs> I don't even know. Mm -mm -mm. I've, I've always, I've hung on to this belief that potentially maybe if I hit monetization, then the algorithm would more beneficially preference me in like serving content. But I don't know if that will be true. We'll see. Um, I think I'm still about two, 200 or so subscribers off of the first monetization uh, threshold. Yeah. And I was like, because right, I, I could be I could be doing like engagement bait posts on Twitter. Um. I don't know exact the YouTube algorithm itself is really weird because sometimes you see something blow up that is just like a 10 second clip with no editing. And so sometimes YouTube seems to like that. But then also it's like I could do, you know, like a highly edited video of like reaction. I don't know. I definitely know I could be doing more like viral stuff as in like TikTok, Twitter things, but oh, I'm just dropping stuff. I don't really want to because I'm like, that's not the kind of content I like to see. And so I don't want to create it. Um, and I, I know it's, I think it's not a common average or universal thing, but like when I see advertising or a weird kind of like bait post, I, it actively decreases my like NPC relationship stat with whoever did it <laughs> where like I've got my reputation stats for like every you know influencer or whatever and if someone does like a weird thing where they're like oh my god reply to this post if yeah, yeah. and i'm like no and i'm like my 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 affection value is decreasing or like sometimes i see an like i get an actual on video ad for a, uh, a vtuber and i'm like oh 
even if the ad is interesting, I'm like, I hate that you're advertising to me. Like, don't do that. <laughs> Which maybe, maybe that doesn't make sense. And I should be like, hey, everyone try and get that bag whatever way you can, you know, but I don't know. It strikes me the wrong way. <laughs> I'm like, mm, mm, I don't like that. I don't like that. I think you're trying to make me a consumer or that I'm the product my view. I'm like, mm, it should just happen, <laughs> which like is stupid. I think I was thinking that last night where I was, uh, I was thinking that I would prefer if you f stumble upon things just randomly or someone tells you something or something happens and you're introduced to things, which is like ye olde caveman style, but I don't know. Just feels soulless. Well, it's like uh, there's a lot, a lot of content creation is viewed as, you know, like a business, right? Because people are like, there's money to be made there. And if you want to make money, then you need to do everything in your power to make that more likely. And it just feels a little like integrity in bankrupt, like it's not morally bankrupt and it's not complete without integrity, but it's like it's it's like the capitalist way of looking at a field where like, because the stuff where, um, I, you know, spending time on Twitter is stupid and I'm trying to spend less time looking at random posts, but it's how I find new artists to like. So it's a double, double edged sword. But, um, that, you know, people will complain. They're like, I, you know, I wish I was getting more views, more viewers, more whatever. And then, you know, people respond, they're like, well, I see that you're not on TikTok. And the, po you know, the original poster will say, okay, and? And the person responding will say, that means you aren't doing everything you could be to increasing the likelihood that you get views. And I understand I think where both, you know, sides of that argument come from. I don't have like a specific example, but I've seen this happen so many times. And this post, these, the same cyclical like sides of the argument go around and around and around because there are people who are putting in a ton of work to be on every platform and attempting to get in front of every possible viewer. And they see someone who is doing one thing like me. And and then I and it would be it would be as if I complained that I wasn't being as successful as I wanted to be, which is kind of what I do to myself and like on stream. Because they're like, well, you're not putting in the work. But then the other side goes, what the heck are you doing? You're doing a bunch of extra stuff that you might not even want to do just because you think it's part of how you should be successful. <laughs> uh, predictions and little focus groups for me and Max TVs. Well, yeah, because it's like it's the two different like sides of the, the coin where it's people who want to make things because they like it and for people who will also like it. But then also it's the business side where you go, OK, I'm doing a thing because I think there is a market for X and to do that, you want to get it to as many people as possible and be as successful as possible. But they're sort of two mm, very different perspectives on the same field and they both have their own issues and don't coexist very naturally <laughs> together. Which is, which is rough. Especially when it, I mean, it's just like, I, I don't like it because it spawns a lot of antagonism on the internet. 
which I just don't like in general. Which, you know, if if you're okay with people yelling at each other, then it's not really an issue. People could just have different opinions. Um, and I don't think in the grand scheme of things, it hurts each other too much. I do personally think that the over business, business, businessification, business, businessification of like content creation is detrimental as a whole. Um, but I don't think it would make it impossible to make it as a completely little like genuine thing. I don't think that's true. Um, but I do think that doing things because of like numbers in any way, whether it's monetary or viewing or whatever, is probably not great for a platform that should be built on passion. But like, if you're looking at it as a, as a business thing, you're like, well, the things that get the most numbers should be the most successful. So like, that's purely opinion based. And it would, you know, it does make it harder for something smaller and that is doing less to be seen. But the flip side of that argument is if like the, the, the counter there is that if viewers really do want things that are more passionate and higher quality, then the odds would be that they would end up going and sticking with the more niche thing anyway, instead of going with the super advertised, more generic stuff that's trying to appeal to everyone. Um, so the argument would be that it might not affect the growth of that anyway, because it's not stealing the potential viewership because it wouldn't have gone there anyway. Um, I think that's a potential counter argument for that. So it's possible it's all moot and doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but people also have a finite amount of time and an ever decreasing attention span. <laughs> so that could play a role perhaps as well. I also don't think I, I haven't been in the, you know, creation side for probably long enough or at a scale that I can really make any knowledgeable statements. I've been a consumer for a long time, but that doesn't mean I understand how any of the stuff in the, from the back end works. Well, yeah, because it's like, but if they're of equivalent quality, ideally, you know, people would eventually trickle down to, you know, the more specific audience stuff. Um, but you never know. Because depending on, you know, algorithm stuff or whatever, but it is the is the hope and the idea that it, that would eventually happen. Um, because trying to, you know, like, please everyone is impossible, but I don't know. I don't know. It's also like, it's not like, uh, I'm also not, I'm not doing something that's a super specific audience because it's not like I'm, I, I don't play just like one game or anything. My specific audience is nebulously the people who would want to watch me, <laughs> which is like someone who is looking for, you know, asterisks, maybe VTuber, maybe specifically but also like some random person who is mildly entertaining 
and likes to talk about video games overly much. <laughs> Which isn't exactly like a niche. It's not like I'm like a Dark Souls speedrunner or like a, a ASMR artist, ASMR artist, or like um, cozy game connoisseur of League of Legends or Apex or like you know FPS. Or, you know, it's like I don't have like a specific niche that way. <laughs> so it's not like I can even because if you if I was doing something that I was like I'm really passionate about making just video game reviews then I would feel more confident going and trying to advertise myself to that potential audience because if I knew that I'm like ooh, if you're in the market for overly specific video game reviews for a very specific kind of gamer that I could go and be posting like, hey, if you're looking for this, you should come look at it. But it's like right now I'm like, hey, uh, you may or may not be in the market for this thing. Do you want to try? <laughs> Where it's like, because I can't effectively bait the audience because I'm I, I don't know who they are. They could be anyone. They could be someone's dad, someone's mom, someone's brother. I don't know. It could be. I, anyone it because it's like I'm sort of I'm sort of operating on the like platform of I think I might be the specific brand of personality for some specific people and eventually it just might happen that they show up here <laughs> maybe I might happen to like the right shows if they ask the right question or talk about things in a way that they find humorous perhaps or just mildly entertaining or chill um but it's not like i can accurately guess who that will be <laughs> so i think i might be approaching this whole thing in a way that would not resonate with a lot of people that look at you know content creation streaming whatever as a more numbers business because they're like you should know who your target audience is i.e like how what is your age demographic um what games do they like that kind of thing and i'm like uh hopefully they like all the games and hopefully they're like somewhere between 18 and 60. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know them. <laughs> Hopefully they like a game somewhere between Stardew Valley and Dark Souls. Maybe somewhere in there. One of those. <laughs> Hopefully they like a game. But yeah, it's most of right. Right now I'm like, hopefully they aren't like only into Battle Royale interesting mix and i'm like hopefully you like cozy games but also super hardcore maybe i mean the um it's uh it's the vibe i always talk about that's why that's why the um the couch arrived is i have a lot of great memories of couch gaming like I'm sitting on the couch or a family member is or whatever. It's like, you know, someone in the dorm or something. Someone is hanging out on a couch playing a video game. Someone comes by and is like, huh, I don't know what that video game is, but I kind of want to hang out or something where it's like you it's, you know, you don't have to be invested in the game. You can be invested in the experience and be like, oh, wow, you you're you're really invested in this video game. Tell me about it. Or like, let's talk about that thing. And what are you, what are you doing? Oh, that's interesting. Wow. I don't really want to play this game, but I'm interested in the story a little bit. I'll come back and be like, oh, yo, what happened? Or like, you know, that kind of stuff where it's like, my idea is that I might play a really wide, weird variety. And the hope is that even if you, the viewer, a viewer, the, the nebulous creature, the scramp on the couch, 
doesn't care about something. They'll probably care about maybe one in five, hopefully, or more. But they'll be interested in the experience of all of them. Maybe. Finding out new games. May like watching? Maybe. I know, right? You'll be like, whoa, what? I've never heard of that. This looks dope. And sometimes you'll be like, oh my god, that looks awesome. I want to play that. I'm getting it. Or you might be like, wow, that looks terrible. I never want to play it, but I'm kind of interested to see what happens. <laughs> I'm glad I saw it. And you're like, what is this? Yeah. Because that was one of the things I, for a long time, I thought it was the stupidest idea watching someone play video games online. I'm like, that's stupid. You should play the game yourself. And then I realized that you could watch the story of a story driven game with someone that you found entertaining and then you wouldn't have to play the game because if it was just the story, you could react to it and have watch someone else have fun with it and then you wouldn't need to buy the game i'm like oh, oh wait hang on this is just cost effective <laughs> but like and then but then the great thing is you watch someone play something like a roguelike game and you go wait i can watch that and decide whether or not i like the gameplay elements and then go play it and not have been negatively impacted by seeing certain things before i mean like the more you see of games with random chance and stuff, the more you are taking away from the experience of you getting it firsthand. But like, it's like being able to watch a review where you're the one coming up with the ideas, where you like, you don't have to see the final takes. You could just be like, hmm, that looks like it might be kind of fun. That kind of thing. I don't know. That's kind of my, my, my spiel on that whole vibe and i i feel like it is in some ways working because i do every once in a while pick up a viewer that is the right vein like i like i feel like i've got like three or four <laughs> viewers that are that i've hit correctly which not a huge number, but it is slowly going up. Which is like, it's, it's cool. It's like, <laughs> progress. I don't know, it's like, you know, sometimes it takes a couple months between. Well, actually, I mean, it was, I, ba I basically got three, three people in like my first, well, uh, my first month of consistent streaming in Elden Ring, I picked up a couple returners and they've been, they've been coming back the whole time. And then, and then you were the next one, like nine months later. <laughs> so it's super inconsistent. Um, there are people that do stop by every once in a while that have, you know, been later. Um, but not nearly as much. I mean, I don't know if it was nine months, but like, wait, um, hang on. Cause I think, I think it was basically, basically April of last year to like, when did, when did, um, I mean like Grand Blue Fantasy was like what, January of, of this year? I think nine is not an super inaccurate estimate or was it february Ooh. but like it was it was a long time <laughs> but in theory it means it can happen it wasn't a fluke sometimes sometimes there are people that would enjoy watching my stream <laughs> And they aren't just a random, a random child. I feel like I get a lot of those. And that's like some, uh, a random child on a day that they don't have school or at a time in their time zone where they don't have school. And I happen to be playing a game that they like and they will hang out for one to 
two or three hours max. Um, and then I'll probably see them the next day. And it will continue until I stop playing the game that they were there for. And then they'll be like, hey, when are you going to play that game again? And I'll be like, probably never. And then I don't see them again. <laughs> Which is like probably part of the, you know, downside to switching games. Is that uh, if someone is only there for uh, let's build a zoo from Game Pass after after three days and I'm not playing it anymore I will never see them again or maybe I will and they'll be like when are you playing Bloom Sour Defense again and I'll be like I told you last time it's not gonna happen come for the game safe with personality that is that is the um the hope the thing that I think is interesting that is like a kind of like I don't know if it's a I almost said like cultural disconnect but it's not quite that it's like the um when people show up and like oh my god oh i love this i'm gonna sub subscribe and it's like i'm like oh thank you but i just want to make sure that like i i want you to subscribe if you want to see more and i will tell you that it will not be this game it will be the same content of me playing the game but it will not be this game and i'm like for both me and for you i only want you to subscribe if you want to come back and it not be this exact same thing again which is like but then a lot of the younger people that come by have you know the thing where they're like well you could just subscribe to anyone that is in any way good in the moment and i'm like well no please <gasps> i have the spiritual significance of your subscription is that you were like maybe that's my weird view I'm like, I only subscribe to things that I'm like, I want to see more of this creator, no matter what it is they do. Because I like the content on a level that I want to see more of it. Or if I watch something and it's like one review of something, and I'm like, I was just here for the review. I like the review. I'll like it. I don't want to see more reviews right now from this person. I'm not going to subscribe. I think... That could be a fucked up way of seeing it where you're like you're supposed to just do it because because it's like the way i see it is it's like you know it's the the classic you know like and subscribe it's the if you in any way felt like this was a good video it is your duty your you know it would be your gracious action to bestow upon me both your like and your subscribe subscribe because that is what helps you know video content go burr but I'm also like you've been told that a bunch but what the what the important thing is supposed to be is like the subtext context is hey if you want to watch more subscribe it'll then it'll come back again because I think getting a subscription a subscriber and then they see the next game I'm playing and they're like well I'm not gonna come back ever again I think it doesn't actually really help me that much I mean of course I need the numbers to get to the subscriber count to do like the monetization stuff but I think the algorithm would like it more if people subscribed and then would come back and I don't know if it really helps that much to get subscribers and if they don't want to actually watch more but it's like people are like oh hey right I'm right here right now I like this like subscribe <laughs> boom that's what i do and it's like well I, you can think a little bit harder about it i'm like i would i would like to you know, yeah. goals to keep a series of game going oh like if i get this number of likes or views or something i keep doing it um if the, is that like that like that kind of thing if you're like oh like hey i made this video or i played this game on stream if we get ten thousand views i'll do it again like th that that sounds like like that kind of that kind of practice yeah um it's an interesting question um <clears throat> i think for me The 
the times in which like I'm not a I'm not I'm not opposed to it like in any way specifically um but I think the scenario that makes the most sense for me in that regard is if the reason I did it in the first place was because because it was like if enough people were like oh my god you should play this thing and I'm like okay well if enough people like comment and like and are like oh my god yes please 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 do this please I'll be like okay I'll do it and if I do it and it's fun I'll be like okay if you you know support this thing a moderate degree I'll, I'll do another one but I definitely want to make sure that it still aligns with my goals and stuff because the the only other scenario in which i see that is working out is like if i know there's something i specifically don't want to do then that would be funny and fun to be like okay you know like uh for like subscriber goal it's like i don't really like playing horror games for example and if there's something that's like out and really scary i'm like okay if we can get to this thing i'll do it because i don't want to but i think it would probably be funny because i don't like it and it would be like because it's like the as long as it aligns well with like my enjoyment slash viewer enjoyment then i'm totally okay with it if that makes sense where I'm like, if it makes sense as a sort of like vibe of communal, it's like it's like a feedback thing where I'm like, hey, um, especially if it's like, I don't really want to do this, but if you show me that you want me to do this and you would enjoy it, then I will do it. Or like, um, or it's like a reward or like, hey, I thought this was kind of fun. Um, it's not something I would normally do, but I would do it again if it was really that much fun for everyone else. Like a reinforcement, <clears throat> I think is, is where I'm at with that. Where if I go out of my way to play something because there was enough um, interest. Um, and I do it and I was like, oh yeah, I'd do that again, but I could use some, you know. Yeah. Just you're thinking yeah i know it's like i i don't see it a lot in any way that i don't like where it's like you know it's like oh hey if this video gets twenty thousand, i think i see it a lot in the context of like a video series and since um since i don't really normally play a game on stream that i didn't just want to in the first place I don't have a lot of reason to ask for like thresholds of anything, especially because I don't have a lot of view numbers. <laughs> so it's not like last year. I'm like, get five likes. Let's get it to <laughs> you know? that kind of thing. But um, we're like, you know, I watch creators that'll do like a video on a game in a series and they'll be like, if this gets to, you know, X amount of likes, I will do the, the next game in the series. Um, that kind of thing. Um, and I think that makes a lot of sense where you're like, I played, you know, like a creator plays game that the audience is asking for. Um, you make a video and you're like, if this is a big enough hit and the people like it enough, then I will continue to do it. Like a, you know, positive reinforcement feedback loop where you're like, I do something, you like it, that's good. I like that you like what I've made. I will continue doing it kind of thing. Right, and it's, it's kind of just it's like those kind of thresholds are just like a heads up like hey just in case you're wondering this is one of the metrics that i use to determine whether or not the audience like this thing so if you want to incentivize me to keep doing it here's how you do that um that kind of thing and since i generally like to think i'm operating on the system of I'm just doing whatever the hell I feel like, then technically it is a little more divorced from the um, audience feedback, which might be a bad thing, but it lets me do what I want now 
without having to overly fixate on how small my metrics are in general. Because like if I was going, if I was trying to operate off of that sort of system, uh, I would have to keep, you know, being like, wow, we're just at like three likes a video <laughs> or, you know, ooh, if we can get this to 100 views and it's like at 15 or, you know, that kind of thing. Um... Yeah. I know, because, like, if I wanted to drive number go up, I would try and do those standard practices, which are like the, you know, go get this thing, tell your friends to like it, or subscribe, just because you want me to do a thing. Um, but... Right, like, I'll do a giveaway. I'll give you know robux out at this many subscribers so like do the thing because like there are ways to get people to do stuff but i don't really want to use like manipulation tactics <laughs> or it's like you, you oh you offer a giveaway and then you're like yeah i gave it away to this person but that person was fake and you didn't have to spend any money that kind of stuff i'm like no thanks you, you could do it if you wanted to I would rather, rather not. So I'm like, ah, I, I feel like part of the reason that I want to be <laughs> V-Bucks. Hell yeah. Exactly. Fortnite. Pork, pork knife. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, oh, just, you know, as long as you're subscribed and like the video, do drop a comment for entries or something, you know? <laughs> but you know, the giveaway will only happen at this number of whatever, so make sure you get people to do that. Because <laughs> you won't get the reward if you don't give people to get people to do the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not a huge fan of that. I like the idea of it in that you're like, oh, I want to give back to my community. So, you know, you know, give me some stuff, but I feel like it's less often meant for that. <laughs> yeah. You're like, all you have to do is, you know, quick comment. Who wants it? Send me DMs. Repost this thing. Everyone who reposts it might have a chance. <laughs> yeah. Something like it's probably there there it is 100 have been ways to give back to the community that definitely has happened where people are like oh i just want to you know give some freebies out or give away that kind of thing but the people that are doing it that aren't looking to do it like that still use the same verbology verbiage verbiage wordage i feel like i'm looking for a different word but whatever <laughs> and that's like they say the same thing like i just want to give back but they're actually just looking for interaction so you know you know i'm i'm trying my best to be better <laughs> more genuinely into the process as a whole and not just concerned with the outcomes or also being more concerned with what goes into it and why because i feel like my personal perspective is the reason we end up getting a lot of creators that are you know in drama and do things that are you know hurtful to themselves or other people or you know the audience and do weird stuff is because they didn't care about it they were just doing it because and that's probably not true for maybe even a majority of stuff but i'd like to think that i'm trying to do it because i'm like i see a lot of stuff where people are you know disappointed that someone you know ended up being not a great person and i'm like 
well, you don't have to worry about whether or not you think my character is good because I'm just doing something that I want to do. And if you happen to like that too, then that that overlap will probably never change. <laughs> And I'm not likely to do something you wouldn't like because there was a intersection of, in, uh, you know, stuff to begin with. The cash. Yeah, because it's like people see like uh, if they're doing it because they want to be like famous or wealthy, then like at some point something is going to go wrong for someone involved. <laughs> Probably statistically, I would imagine. I don't know. I don't know. That maybe that's just my small worldview. Maybe I'm just making assumptions. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, liquid. Okay. Oh fall off got to resort to all means possible if it's relevant yeah yeah it's like well it's like you know like trend chasing stuff i don't want to be that i don't want to have to be like trying to guess or follow what like the new hot thing is no that sounds like that sounds like hell to me like never knowing what you're going to be doing if you're always doing what's like popular and stuff no thank you no thanks i mean like i might coincidentally it's like the more popular the game is the more likely i i am to see it and the more likely i am to want to play it but like mm. i know it's it literally it is a job and you're like, you know, you're putting in the hours and doing the stuff and you're like researching trends and things. I'm like, you can do that. You can treat it as a job. I do think that that doesn't sound like fun to me. I bet, I bet some people see it as, you know, a job and stuff and like metrics and things. And that is fun. And so I think that doesn't mean it is necessarily not a passion. Like, I think there are probably people that are like, want to follow social human trends and stuff and like to try and predict what will be popular because like that's kind of the vibe i get from like mr beast is that they're perfecting the science of what content people want to see and i do believe that he you know there is a passion behind it and it's it's kind of it is like it's a passion in the business side where they're like i think we can figure out the perfect or you know like the the scientifically best thumbnail title combination weird clickbait com uh content because but they're like i don't know there's there so i do think there are correct or you know good ways to do the other side because i think you can be really into doing you know the best metrically um I don't think it's like it's definitely not like black and white there where I'm like if you are caring about just you know the the reach and things it's wrong because I think you can be doing it right in an interesting way and be like I'm interested in the YouTube algorithm and be like this job doing it super seriously is super fun because like different personality types and stuff but I think that some people do that because they see that and they're like, that's what I need to and should do if I want to do this. And it's like, no, 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 no. Do you do you. If we all do us, if we all do what we want to do, eventually, like, that's the best. Don't pretend, to, you know, predicting stocks. Yeah, where it's like, right, there are some people that love that thing where they're like, ooh, financials, numbers. Okay, looking at businesses and things and like, I think this, you know, is you know propped up by these values and things like there are people that really like that are really into that but then there are also people that just like money and want to make money from that because it's lucrative and do it and it's like i i don't like when people do that when they're like i'm gonna do this thing that other people do because i know you can be successful 
And often they will be more successful than the people that really care about it because they're doing it because of the monetary gain and rather than the love of the game. <laughs> And, you know, it, it, I feel like that is sort of a trend in a lot of things where there are people that are really passionate about something and then there are people that realize that they can make money and then they will just utilize the people that like looking at it. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to hire a bunch of the good number people and they will make me money. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I would rather if everyone just made money from their passions directly. But that... That's a perfect world, and that's not going to happen probably anytime soon. But, you know, that's the ideal. And it's the ideal I would like to strive for, whether or not that is in any way associated with the reality in which we live. If I try my best to make that my reality, then I'm contributing to the possibility that it will become everyone's reality. Maybe. That's what I think. If that makes any sense. I'm just crazy. I'm just a wacky little dude on the internet. Mm-hmm. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Well, I think maybe... I could use some extra time today to look into stuff for future stream things. I could use, like, the more time I have after stream, the more likely I am to make new, better thumbnails for stuff. So maybe I will, like, look into some Genshin things or other stuff. There's also, um, whoa, I could do thumbnails ahead of time. <gasps> whoa, that'd be insane. There's, um, a bunch of games are getting updates next week. And that's not even considering the potential Grand Blue update either. That's just like there's um there's Remnant on the 23rd. Um there's Raven's Watch on the 22nd, I think. Um and then I guess... I do have, there, it is... There's like, the, on the 8th of next month, which is actually like three weeks out, so that one's not too bad. There's V Rising. Um, I feel like there's something else that was coming up too. But maybe I should go and, I could get started on those a little bit. One of the Tuesdays, yeah, like maybe, maybe they, they live stream next Thursday is I think what you said, the 25th, and then maybe like the 30th. But yeah, and no, I definitely have stuff to, to be playing next week, I think. I don't know how long the remnant will take to play through. Um, <clears throat> it's probably about time I did another, another thumbnail for Sunhaven. Is looking looking at my channel and it's looking a little stale with the same thumbnail for like a week in a row. <laughs> but yeah, no, exciting, exciting stuff, exciting stuff, and the, and then hopefully it'll all just like sort of cascade roll into um, Elden Ring DLC. That would be sick for next uh, like next month. We'll go end of this month. Next month we'll go real fast. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Also, I feel like I saw. I saw recently there was a game that I was like, that looks sick, but it was coming out soon next month. I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. But yeah, maybe, you know, we did, did some, we got some games today. We chatted a little bit, did some good stuff. It's not too bad to end earlier once in a while. Another Guild War. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, the Grand Blue Guild War on Elden Ring last day. Oh, that's rough. They're like, we can't. Uh, 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 uh. That's that's rough. That's rough. well. Maybe you can just hope that everyone's feeling equally as bad, and it'll just 
sort of communally lower the bar a little bit and everyone's like we're just gonna try a little less hard everybody okay damn that's rough that's rough <laughs> oh, stay strong soldier so the oh the guild wars must not happen very frequently huh less competition hell yeah hey you know every in every every situation has some winners and some losers <laughs> Maybe next time you'll be the winner, or maybe next time you'll be the loser. I do think... My voice is going a little bit today. Maybe I did too much talking? I'm not sure. Maybe I was talking in a weird way. I don't know. But I think I am gonna call it here. It is a little early. It is a little early. But I think I will be wrapping it up here. Thank you so much, for everyone who came by today whether or not you're here now or long gone it means a lot to me that you'd hang out for any amount of time like i was talking about earlier i'm like it's just it it does mean a lot i'm because it's a reflection of that maybe what i'm doing isn't so crazy <laughs> it makes me feel feel good i like positive reinforcement hell yeah thank you so so much again i'll see you around soon bye bye for now <laughs>